Okay, howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back, or welcome. <laughs> welcome to Warmer Tracks on YouTube, playing Cogmind. Ah, ah. Let's make sure everything's working. <laughs> I did a little test stream a little earlier. I think I got most things figured out now. I figured out the last couple of things. I do now have my analytics and the uh, the information is showing properly in the uh, the command center on the YouTube side. So that's good. Let's see. <laughs> oh, God, forgot this was in a tab. <laughs> did you get surprised? Did, did you get a Vormy voice, Vormy voice startling? All right. Well, that must mean that it's working. So I can see my uh, my YouTube is showing. Okay, I'm going to assume it's all working. So I'll go ahead and minimize that screen. Don't need to look at you. Do need to look at you. I don't need to look at you. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I will put this. Just give me a minute. I just need to uh, I need to arrange a few things. A couple pieces of info I would like to see. Guess we'll uh, we'll leave it we'll leave it like that for the moment. All right, I might uh, I might be taking moments here and there to just double check since I've done very little uh, YouTube streaming. I'm catching back up again. I think it was like six eight months ago when I last did any kind of streaming, and that was just one or two, and I ran into some issues. But it seems to be a little smoother now. Maybe I'm uh, I'm a little bit smarter, or they've changed something. I don't know what, but um, yeah, I think we're good. So I, I debated with myself whether I wanted to do this in 1440p, but um, I think we'll stick with 1080p for this particular broadcast. I might explore doing a full 1440p stream um, for the folks that can enjoy that, and then everybody else should be able to, uh, you know, change it to whatever resolution they would like. So that's kind of the plan for the moment. Okay, so hey, everybody in chat. Some of those names I recognize, some of those names don't. This is definitely not a zombie stream. That is correct. This is a zombie free stream. So if you're scared of zombies, no need to worry. It's just robots. It's just robots. Bunches of robots. So we're going to do some robots stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen Cogmind before, well, welcome. This is Cogmind. We've had it on the channel for a little while now. Hopefully you've had a chance to check it out. If not, then uh, enjoy. If you have questions, as always, just like on my Twitch streams. Now, you guys on the YouTube side, as I'm stretching around trying to put in the tea bag out of the tea bottle or tea mug into a, <laughs> a different place. Uh, now you guys have an option to uh, chat with me directly and ask uh, ask questions and all that. Is it harder to stream on higher resolutions? Oh, I realize. Uh, don't believe me. This this is a non-stress game on my system. I mean, <laughs> I it's not it's not a question of can I do it at the higher level. I just didn't want to fiddle with it two minutes before I went live, not knowing exactly how things are going to work. So <laughs> we we could do this at 4K uh, and and still probably only be at about 10% of my system. <laughs> so yeah, no, we're not going to do that though. Um, but yeah, eventually, but we'll settle into some arrangement here. Probably 1440 for most games. Uh, I just haven't tested that yet, so we'll save that for the next time. Definitely Cataclysm and uh, any kind of game like this with static tile graphics. These are, are super, super low-end games to try to, to stream. The compression is uh, uh, no problem. Okay. Um, ah, let's, uh, let's play some Cogmind. We'll see if some more people figure out that Vorm is on uh, on YouTube today. Oh wait, wait! I forgot to I gotta send out my <laughs> my Discord notification. This will confuse them all. There you go, Discord people, with a link to YouTube. Oh, what's it doing? It's that's interesting. All right, whatever. Hopefully that works. Um, yeah. So notifications out. Um, I think we're good. So, uh, yeah, no item to retrieve. Yeah, latency's not too bad again. So actual gameplay starts at five minutes. Cool, cool. Any particular build in mind for this run? Well, see, there's the thing. One moment. <laughs>
You guys decide. What am I going to make? It's up to you. <laughs> what do you want to see me build off of? I'll do whatever you decide. Supposedly there's a poll up. Oh, there it goes. Now we're seeing some some clicks. <laughs> I don't know how long the poll goes. I didn't really set a, a, a time length. I just set the options. Uh, go to channel and poll. I guess I get to pick. Do I just pick a time and say poll is over? <laughs> or is there, a, is there a timer on that thing? Huh. First time I've used that. I, I have no idea if there's a timer or I just let it roll for a while. So far, treads are in the lead. Seven whole votes. I think we've only got like 10 people watching, so <laughs> you've got a good chance of making your voice heard. Uh-oh, legs are making a comeback. Nine votes, 11 votes. Yeah, I'm really curious about the whole, how long does this thing go? I am aware of the gunslinger mechanics, yes. I don't remember all the rules and restrictions around their use, but I, I know that the gunslinger mechanic exists. So when you fire a weapon, if you fire a medley of weapons and the first weapon kills the enemy, the secondary, tertiary, and so on will try to reacquire new targets. I'm assuming that's what you mean by the uh, the gunslinger mechanics. It has been a week and a half, week, week, week and a half. It, it's been a little bit since I last played uh, Cogmind, so this, my, this first run may go horribly. All right, I think we're going to end it here. Let's end the poll at 50%. i got to find out if there's like a, a timer on that poll thingy. I'm going to click the poll thingy button. That shows me the poll complete info. Yeah, there's no there's no timer on it. That's weird. Huh. All right. Good to know. I can put the, the topic up. I can put different options in, but it doesn't give me uh, any kind of timer. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know weaponry. We'll, we'll see on the weaponry. I've been going ballistic kinetic mostly, but... Um, yeah, so uh, treads, treads it is. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some things and some stuffs. Oh, get the focus back in the game window here. All right, put that on, put that on, and uh, yeah, that and that and that. No free slot, that's fine. Grab it there. And we'll grab all the other stuffs and things. Five out of eight. Five out of eight? Oh, yeah, I guess that's right. Okay, what do we got? EM pulse gun, small laser, light assault rifle. Wow, they really did uh, spread them out that time, didn't they? All right, we'll go with the assault rifle and the EM pulse gun, I guess. Now nah, we'll go with the small laser. I haven't really focused on pulse stuff or EM stuff yet. Okay, there we go. One extra engine, uh, the other weapon, and then the two different uh, motive types. Only rule to it is that you are only allowed to have guns active, so no cannons, launchers, or energy weapons. All right, cool. I do tend to drift into cannons. That's probably why I didn't notice it as much. Get out of the way. All right, we're on the first floor. So raise your hand in chat if you're new to Cogmind. <laughs> are you just here to experience the soothing tones of Vormi voice regardless of game, or are you here specifically for Cogmind? And if yes... Have you seen Cogmind? How much how much early game explaining do I need to do is <laughs> basically what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, yes, the answer is yes. Hey, window, I want that screen there. Here we go. I'll I'll do a little bit of explaining. So as, as I started to talk about earlier, as in my Twitch streams and as you guys have seen from all the Cataclysm and, and other stuff. Uh, as you hear me talk to the audience over on the Twitch side, uh, I'm happy to answer questions. So I'll answer anything I can answer. And if I don't know, I will say I don't know. I'm either usually right or silent. <laughs> those, are, those are the two things I try to be, either right or silent. Sometimes I'm just totally wrong. Everybody is. But uh, my, my incidence of wrong versus right or silence is uh, fairly low. So, yeah, uh, we are a, this is a traditional roguelike. 
in the old school version where you start at the bottom of a, a dungeon, a facility in this case, and then you try to raise through the levels and escape. That's the only goal. We're starting at uh, minus 10. Where are you? That key. So we're starting at uh, minus 10 is the level we're starting at. And uh, we're just trying to go up through the levels. We can go sideways sometimes into secondary areas to the to the sides. Uh, but generally speaking, we're trying to go up, trying to escape the facility. Uh, we are kind of a super robot called the Cogmind. We are a highly modular robot. We can slot in various gear, devices, power, motive, treads, all this kind of stuff. They're going to be added. They're going to get blown off of me. I'm going to add new ones as we go along. We're also going to be able to upgrade our Cogmind with more slots, and I get to pick where the slots go as we go up levels. That kind of simulates the power creep um, that you would experience in a traditional roguelike. But uh, in this one, instead of wands and swords and armor, it's, um, you know... Uh, fusion reactors and assault rifles and plasma cannons and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a very, very boiled down experience. Um, just the fun stuff. Just uh, quick movement and shooty shooty and blowing things up and um, hacking things and and all that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a very, very focused gameplay environment with a really good interface. It, it kind of skews your brain in your eyes a little bit when you first see it, but um, once you've played it a little bit or you watch somebody play it a little bit, you'll grok it pretty easily. And the interface is really, really well done. A lot of layered information, just one click away to get pretty much everything you need. You don't usually have to go more than one click to answer a question or get a piece of detail. Um, there is lore that you can pick up as you go through um, that uh, you, you retain um, through the, the different level or different attempts. But mostly you jump in, you try out a new build, a new focus on what kind of cog mind you're going to try to escape with, and uh, that's a big part of the fun, is all the different build possibilities and min-maxi, fusion-y, um, finding advantages and, and exploiting them kind of goodness. So, let's just kind of move around. Um, let's see, i got to get back into the swing of things here. Show, a mining laser, I don't want a mining laser. So these green guys, these are neutral robots that are roaming around doing jobs. A scavenger will pick up debris. So if I get parts blown off of me or if I make a mess of another robot, a scavenger will come by and pick up all the components and take them to the nearest recycler um, so they can recycle the parts. And um, you'll, you'll see examples of that. So all the enemies are made up of different things. So we have the scavenger unit here. Uh, it's a medium-sized unit recycler. It's built with a light engine, compact wheels, storage units, tractor beams, and so on. And it's weak to electromagnetic, electromagnetic damage. So if I was doing a wheel build and I needed more wheels, I could blow up one of these guys. All right. Scout unit already. Ah, oh, dirty scout unit. Yellow is... He, he's, he's what it says. He's a scout. He might tattle on me. Um, we've already found the matter pods. All small matter pods. Go ahead and grab one. Uh oh. Light assault rifle stockpile. And a mining claw. And a transporter. Alright. Now it now it gets more interesting. Heat sinks. Yeah, yeah. Hostiles spotted. So I want to blow this guy up. That's like a loot pinata, loot goblin. Uh, he'll have a bunch of stuff that he's carrying around. He's transporting from one place to another. Um, the technician there just reported me and shut down the terminal, so I can't hack the terminal to do various things. We got uh, more assault rifles over here. I do like the assault rifles as weapons, so we'll go scoop some of those up. And uh, I want to get at least one slotted in before I try to shoot this guy. I don't need heat sinks. We're not worried about heat right now. If you're familiar with Battletech and some of the Battletech type computer gameplay or even RPG gameplay over the years, heat is bad. We do have a heat indicator up here. Currently our temperature is cool, our heat is zero rating, and these are our heat dissipation uh, factors. So we can dissipate that much heat per turn, depending on if we're sta standing still or if we're moving. Uh, or standing still or moving. <laughs> um, so, you got heat, you got movement rates, you got all sorts of different stuff going on. It's a wonderfully layered game with lots of cool things you can dive into if you like crunchy, crunchy goodness. Uh, let's grab this first, so that gives us a mining claw. And I'm going to go down and grab at least this. I'm going to toss the laser. We'll slot in an assault rifle. I'm going to toss the pulse gun. We'll grab another backup assault rifle. 
And I think I'm going to get rid of the legs. We'll stick with treads and we'll use wheels as emergency backups until I have enough treads. So we'll grab one more backup assault rifle. <laughs> sort that list, please. Engines, mm, propulsion, utilities, and then weaponry. All right, so now that we got all that done, where'd that dude go? Did he run off already? And we already got a, we got a mercenary coming after us. So I'm sitting out in the middle of a big room. I got a merc coming my way who's got a small laser he's going to pew pew me with. Uh, I could get behind this. This does not explode. So I could start trying to move diagonally to get, break the line of sight. Ideally, I want to either get to this corner or this corner. If I go this way, we're going to get one, two, three, four, four or five chances he's going to hit me. He's also moving at 120 speed, whereas I'm moving at 160 speed. So this is just like in Cataclysm. This is the cost for you to move a space, basically. Uh, think of it that way, at least. Um, so higher numbers are worse. You want low numbers. So he is faster than I am by a fair, fair margin. Um, that's the downside of treads. Treads are kind of slow. The benefit of treads is, uh, and there's several benefits, but one of the benefits is the coverage value. So all of these components that we weld onto our CogMind core are things that will protect us as well as provide utility. So this is called coverage, and you can see the treads are 22%. What that means is when a hit lands on us from an enemy, this is the percent chance that particular item will get hit. So there's an 18% chance our core will get hit currently based on our equipped gear. 22% chance for each of the treads and so on. So you can use these items, even if they're something you can't actually utilize for your, yourself, you could slot it on just to act as armor or a bullet sponge. But treads are really high in coverage as well as um, the integrity value, whoops, integrity, which is the hit points. So not only do they take hits more often, but they've got a bunch of hit points to, that they can absorb with because they're fairly sturdy. Some of the other propulsion items are much less sturdy or have lower coverage values. So it's a whole big rock, paper, scissors thing on just what things you want to try to use or take advantage of. But they're slow. All right, so we got everything I need here. Uh, I really want to get to cover. I don't want to have a long-range fight with this guy, but we might have to see too. Might have to do that. Uh, let me let me, let me me take a look back through chat here. I got I got I got Check YouTube chat. <laughs> um, da, da, da. Uh oh, procrastinating algebra two homework. Don't do that. You could just listen. Well, I don't know if listening and actually paying attention is conducive to also studying algebra. Hmm. Spoiler backseat level for this stream. Uh, one hundred percent spoilers accepted. I am off of my do not spoil me kick. Uh, I I, I removed that moratorium with the most recent stream run or uh, twitch run that i did for cogmind so spoil away i don't care uh i've played enough of the base game now that uh, I'm, I'm happy to take whatever i may not understand your your sage wisdom that you're trying to impart to me <laughs> i haven't played it enough that i'll understand all of it but uh yeah that's fine all right so let's see Yes, recoil compensation as well. So you get, uh, I think it tells you that down here. Yep, light treads, minus one recoil from each weapon, and immediately knockback. And then there's siege treads or something later where you can go into siege mode where you get big time bonuses. But it takes rounds or time to get into the siege mode, and then I think it takes rounds or time to get back out of it again. It basically cements you in place and gives you a rock-solid firing platform. <laughs> so I saw that at least once in one of the runs. I think I'm going to try to move first. Let's see what happens. Let's see how many times I get shotted. So. I forget the range on the small laser, too. Um, hey, look at that. Ah, we took one hit. I saw the hit point bar, the, the integrity bar, and my light assault rifle go down. And you can see right here, I've got it set for showing the combat calculations. So the G34 followed a small laser, 60% hit chance, hit my light assault rifle for 11 points of integrity. So there you go. We're at 69 instead of 80 on that particular rifle. And as noted, it just checked the coverage values, and apparently it rolled within that range, and that one took the hit. That's fine. One shot. That's no problem. Let's, uh, let's wait right here for him. Do-do. 
I'm just tapping the turn key, turn pass key, just like in Cataclysm. You can see here the time is passing as I tap it, waiting for him to come down into range. Point blank, please. All right, so we got both light assault rifles active. I can activate, deactivate whichever ones I want to fire if I want to uh, specify particular ones. We're just going to hit the F key to say fire, and now when I point at a particular target, you'll see right here a percentage to hit chance. So 75% chance to hit. And right here it shows the target information. So a G34 mercenary. Let's take a shot and see what happens. Well, that went pretty well. <laughs> we got two core hits. Both of them hit the core. Okay, that went uh, that went really well. Yeah, pretty lucky. We got really lucky. All right, so when we blew him up, we now have 32 matter. Matter is kind of this amorphous nanomaterial that can morph into whatever you need it for. Primarily, it's used for ammo, for ballistic kinetic weapons. It'll turn into whatever ammo type is necessary at various rates, depending on the weapon and the ammo needs. And then it's also used or required when you slot items back and forth. When you, when, you, when you put a new item on your chassis, it's used for like the welding materials and uh, solder and all that kind of stuff. You never want to be out of matter. And I have a matter stockpile right here. So core is hit points, 250 out of 250. If that hits zero, we're dead. For, for a cataclysm comparison, it's your head and or torso hit points. So... That hits zero, that's the only thing that ends the run. Um, I can have every single other item blown off of me, um, and we're fine, and we can keep going as long as the core doesn't hit zero. So that's the most critical one to take a look at. Energy, just what you expect. It's our power supply, and uh, various things take power. If we look at the energy information here, we can see the, uh, the power. It's consumed, generated, and so on, depending on the type of item it is. We don't have much right now that really takes power, so it's kind of hard to show or demonstrate much of that. There's also the flip side to that, which is, uh, I think this is, yeah, this is heat. So this is the heat generated. So when I fire the assault rifles, we're generating 10 heat for each one. But we're easily able to counter that uh, counter that with our heat dissipation that we've got. Um, yeah, each of these little filters has two states. So we've got coverage followed by vulnerability, we've got energy, and then the secondary is heat. We've got integrity, which is the hit points of the unit, and the mass of the unit. That is how many slots it's taking up within my available mass limits. So right now, because we have two light treads, these provide mass of 40 that we're allowed to carry without penalty. As long as this stays below 40, we're not penalized. When we go over 40, depending on how much over we go and what kind of propulsion we're using, we'll get penalized in our move rate. Um, wheels are more accommodating to uh, going over mass than the other item, the other propulsion types are, things like that. Um, so we want to make sure we try to keep that below. Treads are pretty unfriendly, if I remember right, for mass overages. But if we add more treads, then we'll have more mass capability and so on, and more hit point protection as well. Um, so yeah, so that's the, uh, the flip side there. And then we have the general info screen, which is showing the rank of the item, kind of like the tech level. A higher number generally is better than a lower number of a similar item. Uh, the mass, the damage in this particular case, because it's an assault rifle, and then what kind of damage? Kinetic. And depending on the kind of item, it shows different kinds of things. And then there's also, on the flip side of that, the matter usage. So it costs one matter to fire each of my, my light assault rifles. So, like I said, one click away from most pieces of information in the interface. Lots of options. All right, so we blew them up. So let's go ahead and pick up some matter. That'll refresh my matter stockpile. Then he dropped his heat sink, the aluminum leg, and the small laser. We need none of those things. Um, we could come back out. There's possible more of them are coming. They don't. Uh, sometimes they travel in packs, depending. Let's go ahead and step out and take a look. Nobody else? All right. I don't know where that transporter went. Apparently he wandered off. I do want to check this bottom corner. This is the border, this light gray. This is the border of our arena. These lower levels aren't too big, as you can see. But they get bigger very rapidly as you go up the, the, the levels. So let's go ahead and move over here. We have a terminal that has not been locked down and a big old pile of matter that I don't need. Although I am, I do have my... My small matter pod that is in my inventory here, it will pick up matter up to a maximum of 50. 
and I can use that as kind of a spare stockpile that we can take advantage of. So we'll grab that before we go out, and it'll fill up the, the matter stockpile. Let's, uh, let's hack a terminal, hopefully. So this is a computer terminal, and um, there's various things you can do at computer terminals. Uh, there will be a list of options, and then there's manual commands, which you can always do if you know the command. I haven't really, I know what this is. I know what it does. I know I can use it on any of the terminals I want. I just haven't been choosing to do so yet. We'll get to a, an, an, ex, an experience point where I start doing that. But right now I'm just doing what options they show, which is fairly randomized. The other thing is there's various security levels and chances of detection. You can get utility slot items that are hacking tools or um, protection tools, uh, various things that will improve your chances to hack and or lower the uh, the detection rates or there, there's a few different options um so right now we've got a couple of records this is the lore and if it doesn't have an exclamation point here it means i've already gotten that lore so we have no lore opportunities here branch access points that's a pretty important one and it's a pretty hard one to pull off but um this one is the basically the stairs um which would be pretty important local emergency access i, I think that's the secret doors between rooms check your current alert level which is important this is basically Make a lot of noise, kill a lot of things, blow a lot of stuff up. Your alert level goes up. More and more often, they'll send stuff out to try to hunt you down. It also acts as in a traditional roguelike as like the food mechanic, where you can't stay in one place forever um, because the alert level will just keep escalating over time. So you want to keep ahead of that. So generally, you want to get what you need off a level and leave as quickly as possible. It doesn't really help you to stay on a level for an extended period of time. Uh, can't do those. Not worried about those. So let's let's try the branch access points. Why not? Thirty percent chance we could get lucky. We got lucky. <laughs> mines and mines. What is this range? Is there a certain range that it'll show, or is this always on the entire level? Because my only options are to go in the mines. I don't have an option to go. Wait, no, no, never mind. We are in the mines. It's mines, then factory, and then. Uh... Uh, than the, the laboratory. Don't mind me. So we have two stairs up to uh, the next level. It's good. It's good. Uh, yeah, let's go check this other door before we leave the area. Uh, the scout again. Yeah, yeah, scout. Get on my face! Oh, I forgot to grab that matter. Alright, we'll grab this matter. <laughs> so, now you can see we have 50 matter, which is the capacity of this small matter pod. Let's check another hacking terminal. Recycling unit index, hauler manifest. Yeah, let's check the hauler's manifest. So that guy I said earlier was a loot pinata. If we succeed here, we did not. Try again. We got the success and we haven't been fully traced yet. Uh, so one of them's empty. One of them has five compact wheels and a targeting computer. And there's no way to tell which one's which. So when you're, when you're running around, but you know, one of them's empty and one of them's got a couple of minor things. I'm not worried about those. All right, let's get out of this area. Let's follow the south wall, I think. So the big things I'm looking for before I get off this level are a uh, grenade launcher. Oh, the pests are out. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. The big things we're looking for is a uh, grenade launcher and I uh, got the melee weapon. So pretty much the grenade launcher. If I get the grenade launcher... And maybe if we can shoot a scout or a tech or something and get some of that stuff, that'd be nice. But, uh, what happened here? Screen, you moved on me. Get back over here. Uh, yeah, those are the kind of items I'm looking for. Now we got pests. God, I hate these guys. They're probably my most hated enemy. They're a swarmer. Think, uh, again, for cataclysm comparisons, these are uh, everybody's favorite flying um, little death balls <laughs> that, that come after you. So, man hacks, that's what these basically are. But they, uh, they're worse. Eh, I won't say they're worse. Well, I mean, they're, they're firing light assault rifles, and they're supremely fast. It's ridiculously fast. So, it, and usually there's more than one. So there's probably three or four over here. Um, he hasn't seen me yet. I think I'm going to go hide in the room. And if he comes and opens the door, then we'll deal with it. If not, we'll wait a little while, and we'll try to peek the door, and we'll see what's going on. All right, so he hasn't seen us. He's not here yet. Let's see. So it's possible they rolled off on a patrol somewhere. I'm going to try to go back the way I came, keeping as much distance as I can. And we'll go north instead. 
I don't want to deal with pests. That's the scout. I kind of would like to shoot the scout in the big in his big dumb face. He's staying out ahead of me. That's fine. Uh oh, light armor plating. Yes. Oh, light armor plating. Integrity of 90, that's the hit point value, and a coverage of 150. We are taking some light armor plating. So it's got a high coverage, meaning it's going to take the hits quite often until the integrity depletes, and then it'll fall off. So we've got one utility slot unused. We'll get that slotted in. And if we check our coverage, that is now the leader at 21%. 21% chance an incoming round will hit the light armor plating. So between the, the armor and the wheels, that's, uh, what, 50, what's that, 34, 55%. So 55% chance these are going to take the hits. And we got our core exposure down to 14%. Audio is popping a bit. Hmm. Let me know. This is the first real stream I've done uh, over here on the Yubdubs for quite a while. So I did a test stream earlier, but we're still dialing stuff in. And some of it could be... I, it's hard for me to say. I'm not currently looking at um, stream analysis and all that. It's telling me excellent connection and all. But um, yeah, let me know if we have constant problems or if other people confirm, um, especially. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's shoot a scout. So, this guy's a little hard to hit. 39%. We got him, but we didn't finish him. And now I've got this guy in between me and him. Probably not going to... Oh, come on, you. <laughs> nope, we didn't. All right. Oh, well. Well, we did hit, but we didn't get the, uh, the core hits to finish him off. Another mining laser. No thanks. Let's go check over here. Oh, oh, he's hiding right there. He's coming back. Let's see if we can finish him from close range. Hey, thanks for coming back. Did we get it? Oh, we didn't get it. I was hoping for uh, the sensor unit. I don't want the visual processing right now. Don't need the light engine right now. All right, let's go check another terminal. So this is a red terminal. It's it, it, Let's get out of here. It's a red one. Uh, yeah, so it's a repair terminal. So I could repair units and gear here. Let's set this back on integrity. Um, we don't have much to repair right now, so we'll leave it alone. Out we go. Uh-oh. Hover units. A small battery and a light cannon. Do we want to move to cannons? I think I'm just going to stick with the light assault rifles for now. Go check the other side. You got to be careful of these structures. Some of these are explodey. This is material processor. This does not explode, but there are all sorts of ones that will blow up if you're not careful. Light units, ECM suites. We don't need none of that. We'll roll around the, the wall here, see if there's a secret door. Oh, another scout opportunity. Come to me, Mr. Scout. I wish your sensor unit. I have failed to achieve sensor unit. <laughs> Scared him off at least. Threat detected. He's coming back. Come here, you. <laughs> and he runs out the other way. Get up from in front of me. Ah, we triggered a shock trap. All right, we stepped on a shock trap. Floor emits a surge of raw power. System corruption. So we now have system corruption. This is the uh, the next line up here. Two percent does various bad things. It's basically rolling dice each round and. Uh, if it rolls below, I think, the 2% number, then something bad happens. It can vary what happens. Not much I can do about it right now. We're going to hit probably several of these traps. Ah, here come the pests. All right, they saw me this time. So we've got two pests incoming at least. Might have another one. Um, I'm just going to... see. What's the best way to deal with this? If I back out to here... Yeah, I think we're going to try to back around the corner. They're so fast, they might start shooting me before. Yep. All right, we'll wait right here. Oh, and there he is. Instantly on me. One down. Almost down. Two down. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> Damn it. I hate pests. I hate them so much. 
All right, now we're going to start taking some damage. Lucky hits, please. Come on, finish these guys. Almost. All right, down they go. So you can see our light armor plating took a pretty significant chunk. Hey there, Daniel Byram. Thanks very much for the, uh, the membership. Yay, that works. <laughs> I get notifications. I didn't see up. Oh, yep, it did appear in the uh, the notification screen from my uh, my streaming software as well. I do now have direct control over the bonging noise, so just let me know when that thing's too loud, not loud enough. All right, so that worked great. Now the only thing I haven't tested or don't know for certain is the um, the um, super chats. I think that's the last thing I was curious about. All right. Um, what was I talking about before I got rudely interrupted by a membership? <laughs> I'm so easily distracted. Uh, yeah, so look at all this crap. Crap, lots of crap. Watch this button. I'm going to press this button. Hey, look at that button. So light assault rifles. We can replace the ones we've got that are damaged. Uh, several of them. That's what those guys fight me with. Don't need the cannon. Don't need the engines. Can't do the flight units. So we'll just scoop up some replacement light assault rifles. So you can see here we've got a bit of damage to the two. So let's go ahead and slot that in automatically. Um, I guess they're close enough. It's not going to take those as upgrades. No problem. So with all this stuff scattered here, you'll see scavengers come by and they'll start picking all this stuff up and they'll deliver it to the nearest recycling unit terminal. We're up to 4% system corruption already. That's not good. Get out of my way. I'm going to bump. I'm going to run right over you. It's another fun thing with treads. You can just uh, tank, tread roll your way right over top of these little guys. Okay, so we didn't need any of the rest of that. Uh, what was that other button? Not that one. Was it that one? Oh, it was that one. Does this look familiar? <laughs> Raise your hand in chat if this is your preference. <laughs> we are not going to use it. I'm not going to pick it, no matter how many of you raise your hand. But um, yeah, there you go. <laughs> ASCII mode. Back to graphical tile mode. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Oh, the transporter unit. Watch this be the empty one, or we won't be able to kill it. They're pretty quick. Oh, we got damage on it. We got him, and he dropped something. But it's just the engine, so he was the guy that didn't have any stuff, unfortunately. Oh, the storage units, yes. This is the other thing. The two things you want to get off the level, I forgot. Uh, I, I look for three things. Uh, grenade launcher. Bigger storage and the uh, the melee weapon of some kind. So we found the storage stockpile. Structural scanners, no. So I have no, I got a small storage unit now. We're at 15 out of 40. We can definitely put a bigger storage unit on. Um, the storage unit increases what's down here. This is your carry capacity, uh, the, your stockpile of parts, spare parts. There is no reason not to always have this at max. These things are in a magical, uh, super dimensional, uh, portable hole type of thing where they have no mass, no weight, no consequences other than the number of slots that are occupied. So you can have anything you want in these eight slots, uh, up to eight. You can't go over, but um, it doesn't matter. There's, there's no weight or mass or anything while they're in those containers. So... When I slot in a utility slot for storage, that's what goes up. We can carry more stuff um, as opposed to more or better propulsion, which increases mass, which is what controls how many things you can have actually slotted in at once. So huge, 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 huge. It's all huge. Oh, it's not the one where we get like small, medium, large choices. <laughs> Let's see what the numbers look like if we try to go huge. Oh, 90 out of 40 and we double our speed <laughs> or we, we have our speed. Our, our movement cost doubles. Yeah, we can't do that. That's too much. If I was on wheels here, let me show you. Do I, I still have the wheels. Watch. So 320 to move with space with the treads. But if I slot in a single wheel, which disables the other tread, it goes down to 175. And if I put the other wheel in, 
we're down to 130, even though we're three times our mass limit. Wheels are really, really forgiving on mass limits, meaning stuff you have here. So, and it boosts us up to 25 slots that we could be carrying crap. So, pretty strong temptation just to switch to wheels <laughs> with that huge storage unit. So, I don't know. Do I want to just um, switch to wheels? Or shall we stay with treads, which was decided by the audience? <sighs> Let's stay with treads. We'll abandon the uh, the huge. We'll stay with treads for a while. <clears throat> Oop, do, 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 do. Treads, treads, and um, get rid of that. Where to put my small right there? Hey, oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Yeah, the downside of the wheels, I mean, it's all rock, paper, scissors. You got to make your own personal choices and decisions and all that. So uh, the wheels are drastically less integrity. I mean, we've got 140 integrity on these light treads versus 30. And then we've only got 30 coverage versus... Uh, uh, that's the numerical version. Check this way. Uh, coverage of 120. So, treads, much slower, much less mass capability, but hugely beneficial in blocking incoming fire. And also, if you're firing lots of ballistic weapons, lowering recoil. But, yeah, we'll, we'll stay with what we got. We'll, we'll stick with the treads. I need to get, like, a medium storage. I do need to get better than small, but I need a medium or a large Okay, let's go back out the other way. So we didn't need that stuff. Nothing in there I care about. So here's a scavenger. He's going to come scoop this stuff up. I'll, I'll let you see it. Yep, boink. And it says right there, scavenger collects ion engine. He's now going to run off. If he's done scavenging the local area, he'll run off to the nearest recycler unit to uh, turn those in. Uh-oh, tell me there's a secret door up here. What the hell? We've got a corridor that goes nowhere. It's a little interesting. Lots of scouts, huh? I want to tr make another try for the uh, for the sensor. Ah, he got all the way around that corner that quick. Let's see if he's forgotten about me. Oh, another transport. That's going to be the transport that has the, uh, what was it, wheels and um, get the other item. Yeah, wheels. Ooh, light treads. And uh, wait, re oh, the treads and the distribution came off of his actual body parts. Medium storage unit. Upgrade. There you go. Now we're at 10. Exciting. <laughs> um, We'll grab a spare tread because we're going to get these blown off. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a leg and sort those out. I'm still going to, uh, I didn't want the leg anyway. I'm still going to keep um, the wheels currently until we run into something more critical I need to pick up. So, I don't need the rest of that stuff. Targeting computer, that was the other thing. We don't have any utility slots. We'll grab the targeting computer because there's no reason not to have this full. Um, and then here's one of the stairs. Explosive trap. So I haven't found the grenade launcher yet. Oh, mining lasers. Well, that goes to the mines. So it, maybe it is the mines. Maybe I am thinking of the wrong thing. I forgot the name of these lower levels. So I think we're going to be forced to go to the mines because it only had two listings. Okay, I have both. Oh, there's a lore I don't have yet. The D-53 Grenadier. 41% chance to pick up that lore. I don't have it because it shows me the exclamation point here. Nothing else is needed. Still at one and medium, so let's go ahead and give it a try. We succeeded. D-series demolishers are the only class to carry explosive weaponry and due to the high potential for collateral damage, are only assigned to support assault forces dispatched to deal with groups of high threat intruders. The D-53 itself is highly resistant against explosive damage, however, and is therefore willing to catch bursts in an explosion, even while within that blast radius. Yeah, I gotta get me some of that. I gotta get me some explosion resistance um, upgrades so I can just close, <laughs> danger close, face tank my own grenades to clear enemies that are on top of me. 
All right, that's all we're going to do there. So we've got a new piece of lore. This is a non-exploder. I'm just going to keep working my way along the walls. Ah, another technician. Did he spot me? He has not spotted me yet. So he probably belongs to that terminal. As soon as he does spot me, he'll run here and turn this off and send an alert out. Let's try to avoid him for a moment. Ah, I don't want to get exploded either. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's just go set the set the uh, guy off. Oh, he changed position. Oh, he left the room. Cool. Hey, no fair. There's nobody around that could have spotted me. All right, so we have the lore items, uh, reinforcement. We already did manifests. Zone layout gives you a little bit of it maps in a little bit of the area around you. Doesn't give you the whole whole level. Uh, sure, give it a try. Failed, 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 and we're almost detected. So, oh no, we did download the map data. There you go, another stair right there. But I have no direct way to it. Uh, it's all right. I got a solution for that. So another terminal here, huh? That's got to be where the technician went. Yeah, let's go investigate that first. Hey there, technician. I guess I'm going to start firing right now. Got him! But, well, we got a data jack. That, uh, as you can see, data jack, special melee weapon, penetrates target robot just enough to enable system access for hacking. I haven't really been able to do much with that yet. I'm hoping to. And we don't need the hover unit. And he did turn this off, apparently. They're mining lasers. All right, let's do this. I haven't shown this yet. So we are not bounded by puny walls. Let's get our mining claw out. We'll, um... Mining claw, you can't go through a wall? There we go. <laughs> it took a while. Yeah, we fear no puny walls. Go check this terminal. Whoa, hey there, Scout. You just tattled on me. And you summon the pest while I'm in an open room. God dang it. We were so close to getting off this floor in decent order. And I got a stupid mining claw in one hand. Um, 22 to 25 slashing, huh? I have no idea if this would be effective against these little guys or not. Hmm. I've shown my preferences for Zippy Cogmines. I'm still working my way through the variations. I want to give one more good solid run to a hover build. I still feel like I need to get a little bit more experience in that. And I have not yet done a like a Conan the Barbarian Thud and Blunder tread build. Um, we're going to try that as well. This is all sorts of stuff I want to try now that we've got most of the, the basics of the gameplay behind me. I haven't done enough uh, riffing and uh, hacking. Those, are, I think, the last of the two things, or the last of the general things, I really need to get some experience in, and then we can kind of really open things up to me figuring out how to do some cool min maxi type stuff. Uh yeah, I really could have done without this last second drop in of uh, all the stupid uh, little guys here. Damn you, scout. Um. As soon as I try to hit this, this one's going to get around and they're both going to be shooting me and then a third one might show up be shooting me. That's a lot of incoming damage for me to deal with. If I move down one, he's still coming around. It's not going to help much else. I, I think I might as well just... Might as well hit him. I'm going to try the main mining claw. I, I don't know. I don't know how lucky. How much do you guys have? Uh, you've only got eight core integrity, so if we do get a core hit, and they don't have a lot of things that are going to absorb damage, I think it's enough that the mining claw would still kill it. So let's let's give a mining claw a swing, see what happens. Swing and a miss. We're up to three of these stupid things. Another swing and a miss, and now a mercenary has joined in. <laughs> I'm so close to the stairs. <laughs> I'm so close. Oh man, I should have just taken the stairs. Oh, that's funny. Well, um, it's getting ugly now. <laughs> Let's go assault rifle. We're going to get all our crap stripped off of us. 
Just ran my way through. That is a point. I could do that. Let's cancel that action. Whoops. God dang it, you. I could just trundle my way through and take the damage from uh, three pests and a mercenary trying to get to the stairs. Ah, let's do that. That's 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 more interesting. Of course, they're going to fire four million times. What? Oh, I failed. Yeah. So much for trundling on through. Ah, we trund trundled through one of them. Yep, there goes our armor, there goes our power. I am, uh, I'm mining clawing, apparently, instead of moving. There we go. I was doing the wrong option. Didn't realize I was swinging the mining claw. <laughs> yeah, I figured it out. Alright, let's get out of here. So, we did go up a level. Yay! So we had a mine option, and we had going up a level option. Uh, so every time you go up, you go vertical, you get an option here to increase your slots by two in any combination you want. So I can increase power, propulsion, utility, or weapon slots. I've got two points to apply. I could put two into one category. I can do one and one, any combination I want. And it happens every time you go up a level. So we're not worried about power. We got plenty of power for quite a while. It'll be four or five levels probably before I put another power unit on. Um, I can probably make do with two weapons for a bit. So it's either going to be prop and utility or double up on probably utility. There's not a lot of utility items yet, but I do want to at least get a scanner on and a few other eh, fairly important utility options pretty early. So I think we'll go double utility for this floor. And next floor, I'll probably go prop utility. And eventually we'll slot in another weapon and one extra power. But um, generally speaking, most builds have tons of utility by the time you get to the upper floors. There's just so many things you can do with the utility slots. Okay, we are up. So another thing that happens when you go up a floor is your core goes up in hit point value. So we now have 400 core. It resets any system corruption you had. So we've cleared out the system corruption. Um, and then we have our extra slots that we can play with. So, we have an extra engine. We'll slot that in. I didn't give myself any extra treads, and I don't have much in the way here, but we've got a targeting unit we can slot in. I lost my armor, and Data Jack is a weapon. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the mining claw off, put the assault rifle back on, check hit point values or integrity values. Eh, otherwise, no big deal. So we weren't in too much danger there because the stairs were so close. It was just a matter of how many items I was going to lose if I had stuck out, stu uh, stood with that fight. What do we got? Data jacks, data jacks. That's a lot of data jacks and some small matter pods. Um, oh, I lost my matter pod. When, when did I lose my matter pod? Hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and slot one in. Why not? Same general idea, though. Now we're trying to find yet another stair to go up. Oh, that's an explodey one. Fusion modulator. Explosive potential. <laughs> so it's always fun to have uh, firefights and grenade battles and rocket launcher battles while standing next to fusion modulators. Good times. Ah, we got a defender. So this one's new to you guys, or to some of you. This is, uh, it's not stationary, but it's a slow sentry unit. It's a large sentry unit. So he's also on treads. He's actually the same speed as me. Um, he's got a beam rifle and a heavy assault rifle, which I'd love to upgrade to if we can kill him. Engine, treads, heat sink, light armor plating. So I'd love to get the plating off of him. I'd love to get the heavy assault rifle off of him. And the improved iron engine wouldn't be terrible. So if we can arrange a fight that's at, uh, at least not too detrimental, we might be able to pick up a few items. So he has uh, he has not actually technically spotted me yet. I could back up a space and then work my way around. I'd have to get his attention, meaning I'd have to let him shoot me <laughs> in order to get him moving towards me. I don't have any uh, fancy things that'll get his attention beyond that. Hey there, Jeff Anderson. Uh, hey, what's good? Just saw you were live, so I clicked the button, and now you're here. Well, welcome to being here. Here is a good place to be. We're doing some YouTube streaming and some Cogmind. Welcome to the carnage. Let's, um... I think I'm going to step out again. I'm going to let him see me from long range. Let's see. So from here, we're the same speed. 
think the best way I can arrange this is to let him take two shots, actually. I'm going to go to here and then into the doorway. That'll be one shot, two shots, and then I'll move to here. Or here, depending on what we see. That'll force him to come around point blank, and then we'll have our little point blank fight. He's stronger than me, currently, but um, we got a lot of replacement parts, so it's no big deal. So there's the first shot. Light assault rifle hit. He hit me with the beam rifle also in the treads, so our treads took 14 damage and our light assault rifle took some damage. He didn't get another shot off there. Ooh, a shotgun. Yeah, let's take a shotgun. Uh, let's put the shotgun right there. We'll step back into the doorway. We're just going to wait for him. He'll get here eventually. There he is. All right, Defender. So, fire, we got what, 91 and 90? Hitting him shouldn't be the problem. It's getting him in the core that we want. we want. We want quick, easy core hits. So we got him in the core there for 12, but we then hit him in the plate damage, plate armor. That's what we don't want. So if we take a look at him, the color, when I highlight him, it shows yellow, shows he's taken some core damage. We only need eight more points to blow him up. So if we get one more core shot, he might spew out a bunch of fun stuff for us. Give me your fun stuff, Defender. Awesome. He even gave us the treads. Damaged. Oh, yeah, we got none of the cool stuff. <laughs> we got two stinky heat sinks. You bastard. Ooh, that's kind of sucks. Let's see. We've got one extra tread currently. Let's get rid of the huge storage unit I'm not going to use. We'll grab the treads. Hey there, Terminal. Uh, transport status, hauler manifest, component inventory, zone layout. Let's do hauler manifests. Gee, there's a few. Ion engines, light. Oh, three grenade launchers in that guy. A flail. And some traffic tractors. All right. Well, I'd like the grenade launcher if we don't find it elsewise. We, we didn't find the grenade launcher on the first floor. We're still looking for a, um, an area effect solution. And let's try oh, zone layout. Failed. We got the zone layout. Eh, all right. Another shotgun, disposable heat sink, huh? Uh, let's check our alert level. Our alert level is low security. That's what you want it to be. You want it to say low security and you want it to stay low security. And there are sometimes options you can use and or you can try the manual command. If you do the manual command, you can do any of the commands you want, but it's done at a negative uh, modifier if it's not on the list here. So if you do it on the list, it's what it says. If you do the manual command, it's not on the list. You're still allowed to do it, but it applies. I don't know what the actual negative modifier is, but it's done at a, a lower success rate. Um, I don't think I care about the rest of that, so we'll leave that alone. I think we're good. Uh, sort that list again. Treads, wheels, assault rifle backups, down jack, mining claw. Yeah, let's let's keep what we got. Hey, buddy. Signal interpreter. We need one of those. All right, something's got to go. Let's get rid of the... Uh, youch. Tell you what, let's uh, slot that in. Let's get rid of the most damaged light assault rifle. Grab the signal interpreter. Actually, we can slot that in right now. Now we just need the, uh, the scanner, or the sensor. Okay, we've got all of the lore options. We know our alert level. Yep, not worried about this one either. Oh, light cannon. I'm going to stick with my machine guns for now. Let's stay away from the cannons for a bit. Hey, a different item. So I've talked about the um, scavengers delivering to recycling units. That's what this is. This is a recycling terminal. So if we go over to investigate the recycling terminal, we have some fun options. You can recycle the components that are inside it. Or you can recycle, you can recycle a component in your inventory. You can tell it to go ahead and put it in the recycler. You can process the contents. I want it to report inventory. It's currently empty. Nothing's in there now. And once you process, and sometimes it'll have some, you'll be able to retrieve the matter. It'll just crunch it and turn it into the uh, the matter that you can then pick up and use. So we, we can't do much here. 
Not currently. Go, oh, defender, right on gone. Right on the wall next to us. He has he technically hasn't seen us yet. Huh. Yeah, let's step right up into his face. We got the shotgun, the assault rifle. Let's give it a try. So he hit in my shotgun. He hit my shotgun. And he missed with an 85% chance on the other weapon. Cool. We've got uh, 76 and 75 percent. That's low because I'm, I'm in motion this round. It'll get better next round. 85 and 84. Basically, we're just trading point blank shotgun and rifle blasts. So he's yellow condition now. He's getting close. He's orange, and down he goes. And we still didn't get, still didn't get what I wanted. Dang it. So, our scavenger is going to come around and grab these up, and he's going to take them up to the recycler unit. Grab the matter. We're about to lose some of our treads. we got to keep an eye on that. I would like to keep going north along the walls, but... Hey there, transporter. Are you one of the good ones? Do you have good stuff? Oh, well, up oh, the flail. That was the one that had the flail. Cool. I'll take a flail. Flail's going to replace the mining claw. Goodbye, mining claw. Give flail. What else hit the ground? Medium storage unit. We've already got uh, treads. I might grab the treads. Got a couple of treads. And that's it. So let's go ahead and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace the two. Grab that one. And sure, grab that. Three backups. I don't have an engine backup. I need an engine backup, so we're going to have to grab an engine from somebody. Ooh, hardened light armor plating. Yes, please. Let's, uh, let's get rid of... Hmm. Get rid of the heavily damaged tread. And we will pull the small matter pod into our inventory and then we'll slot on the hardened light armor plating. 180 and coverage value of 20%. So we're down to 13% core exposure. Another thing to understand on the interface here is notice how there's these little colon symbols on these two. These indicate... Their, their processor upgrades. These indicate that if I try to remove these, they're destroyed on removal. All the other parts, I can I can pull out of my inventory, I can drop on the ground, I can put them back in, they, they can swap back and forth. But these, once installed, are destroyed when they're pulled off again. That's what those indicate. And what else? Shield generator? Uh, I'm not going to get into shields right now. Ouch! So, we got a defender guarding the stairs. Um... Let's play with the flail. So here's the flail. Cool little uh, ASCII graphic for the flail. It's an impact weapon, melee weapon. Uh, let's see, 18 to 54 impact damage with a 20% chance to smash crit. Whoops. Uh, for interface information wise, if you're questioning what any of these do, you can just click on them. So critical, I can click on, and it pops out a nice little description of just what that does, what it means. Melee weapons, uh, certain way melee weapons tend to corrupt the items when they blow them off the enemies. So depending on what your needs are, could be good, could be bad. Let's try to flail him. <laughs> we hit a heat sink. How exciting. We hit his plating. Not what I need. There we go. I think we... Yeah, we completely destroyed him. No gear for less. No loot. Whoa, what the hell? Exit identified storage? What the hell? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Uh... This is going to the, uh, not going to the mines. Target analyzer, pulse rifles, target analyzers. 
Increases weapon critical chances by 5%. Only affects weapons are already capable of critical hits, not applicable, applicable for the meltdown critical. And that is a processor utility, so it'll be one of those we can't take off without destroying it. And it would take up one of these very valuable locations. I gotta have storage. I gotta have an armor slot. Targeting computer, kind of optional. I'd like the signal interpreter, but I need a sensor to go with it. Um... Yeah, the signal interpreter, the reason I want it is so when we go next to the stairs, it'll identify where the stairs are going. But I didn't think it would... I, is is this a different level, or is what, what's this going to take me to? This just considered... One of the branches. Hmm. All right. What has transpired for him? Did your Twitch get locked up again? No, not at all. We're just doing some streaming on YouTube side. We're going to be mixing and matching some streaming. I'm uh, I'm thinking through just when and how much and which games and all that kind of stuff that we're going to we're going to have between the two. <clears throat> um all right, I guess we can go to storage. Why not? Let's go to storage. Do I do I want these? I'm gonna hold off on these. Let's just go to storage. Is this the DSF vault? DS. Beeps beep. Uh, I forgot the, the acronym. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Technician right next to the terminal. Dude's gonna instantly see me. <laughs> That's rude. All right, for being a tattletale, I'm gonna flail you. We flailed him, but we didn't get what I wanted. Got a backup engine. I need that, so something's got to go. Let's make... Uh, hmm. I guess one of the backup wheels go. Got to have an extra engine on hand. Ooh, hacking suite. Hacking suite. I think um, I think I'm gonna take the hacking suite over the targeting computer. I'm really trying to get some more of that stuff going on. <laughs> Let's go practice. So hacking suite increases chance to successfully machine hack by ten. Also provides a plus five percent bonus to rewiring traps and disrupted robots. All applies a minus two percent penalty to hostile programmers attempting to defend their allies against your hacks. Show me what I got. Your level one. Oh, it's the DSF. <laughs> Speaking of, so does storage just immediately take you to DSF, or is this a, this a, a coincidence? Whoa. Oh. That's not what I expected to happen. Never mind. Drone bays. So many drone bays, and I have no slots. <laughs> it's too early for drone bays. You can stream on both at the same time. You can, unless you're a Twitch partner. <laughs> you got to know all the circumstances. Don't make blanket statements like that <laughs> without knowing the circumstances. So yes, you can multi-stream. You can stream out to every platform on the planet simultaneously if you'd like, as long as you don't have an exclusivity contract with one of them, at which point you can't do that. So if you're a Twitch partner, you've got a 24-hour hold period. You're not allowed to, uh, to provide content to Twitch and other locations uh, simultaneously. you got to wait 24 hours. So, yeah, can't, can't quite do it in all circumstances. But, I mean, if you're not a Twitch partner, go for it. You can stream wherever you want. Yeah, drone bays. I had some fun with drone bays. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Integrity 120, coverage 200. They're big, boxy things. They take hits quite often. Um, holds drones. Launch when the bay is activated. They're fun. I will, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely slotting one in. We're slotting one in. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I really don't want to take away any of these things. Hmm. Let's at least 
throw away some other stuff. Let's um, let's get rid of one of the backup treads and one of the assault rifles. We'll keep getting more of these. Uh, I guess I could get rid of the matter pod. It'll be a bit, I think, before we have problems with matter. All right, let's uh, grab. At least they're not two slots. All right, let's grab two just so we can have some fun with them. So, let's see. If I right now take off the plating. Whoops. Let's toss. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that right now. Um, so, if we take off the plating, put on a drone bay, and I activate it. Drone bay empty. All right, drones. Oh, what was that command? It was... Uh, uh, friendly? No. Uh, I forget the command. F. F what? <laughs> um, control allies is what I'm trying to do. Order ally? No, not that. I don't think it was that one. Where do I give them command? Hmm. Here? There we go. That's the one. Allies. Drone! Go explore the level, please. Drone 2. Uh, follow me. Medium storage, another defender. Yay, good job, drone. Good job getting out of there before getting blapped. Light assault rifle, matter. Uh-oh, mercenary. He's going to get blapped. And I'm out in the middle of the hallway, long hallway, with a defender and mercenaries coming. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, crap. Well, this got unfortunate. Um, all right, we got to get the armor back on. Uh, I think, what happens if I put the drone bay? I guess we'll find out. They immediately deactivate? Oh, yeah, they immediately deactivated. I don't know. Is that bad? If I put the drone bay back on, do they, do they activate again? That might have saved my drones from getting popped. And let's go with uh, another assault rifle in place of that. All right, so we got our combat gear going. Um, I don't want to do a long-range fight on the defender. He was originally moving towards my drone that he originally he saw. I try to back up with the same speed. <laughs> Blap! Poor, poor other neutral drone. All right, at least we got back to a position where we don't have to. Uh, Fighting a long corridor with multiple enemies coming. Let's see. Stay with the assault rifles or go to the flail? I'm going to go back to the flail. All right, come get me, buddy. It'd be funny if he doesn't show up, if he just went back to his little nook. There he is. Flail! That would be a swing and a miss, I think. Come back. Missed! 80% missed! Light armor damage. Core damage of 30! That was a smiting! We smited him mightily. <laughs> we got some light armor plating. So we damaged it, and then we blew him up, and we knocked the plating back off again. Oh, here come the uh, the mercenaries. Back up again. How we doing? Treads are starting to get a little wonky. I only got one replacement tread. Hmm. All right. I'm going to I'm going to stick with the flail for these guys. They don't have much that I want, so I don't care if I corrupt the items. We got a good hit on the ion engine. Leg hit, leg hit. Come on now. Four hit please. Got one of them down. Got the next one into the red. Oh. 
Oh, terminally corrupted. I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Yeah, that went pretty well. Uh, what are we down? We got full matter, full energy, a little bit of core damage. Our gear is eh, mostly okay. Getting a little iffy on uh, the treads. Let's switch back to double assault rifle. And I'm curious if I put the drone bay back on. Do these guys suddenly activate again, or are they disconnected and gone forever? They're just flat gone. Interesting noise. Alarm trap waiting for me. Transfer shafts. Hmm. Um. I could try to repair my treads, but I'm worried there's going to be more uh, traps. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Let's get rid of the drone bay since it's not doing any good. We got one more that we can play with later. Plating, back with you. Oh yeah, terminal. Uh oh, security level two, high chance of detection and no lore. Alert level is still low. Recall reinforcements, component inventory. Nah, let's not risk any of those. What was up there again? Core shielding, assault rifle. Don't need those. Uh-oh. Transport. Yeah, we gotta try to blap him. And now he's on the other side of the scavenger. Bump the scavenger. Bump the scavenger again. <laughs> and now shoot the transport again. Get him. Large matter pods. That's more like it. Hey, scavenger, get away from my stuff. Did he already pick something up? He has not. So you can shoot at a scavenger. Whether you kill him or not, it scares them off, so he won't pick stuff up. So we're gonna shoot that shoot at this guy. Now I got an engineer in my way. Alright, so we got uh, a tread replacement. Ah, defender's coming. Grab the tread replacement. And these are all large. Oh, mediums. Large. Matter pods. Um Yeah, yeah. I got uh, nowhere else to go. I got no other direction to go. I gotta go into this guy. All right, let's uh, let's force the encounter up in this corner. I don't know if this blows up or not. Sword shell. No. All right, we'll come up here. We'll force him to come up into point blank in order to uh, to shoot me. Let's, um, yeah, we'll just assault rifle him, I guess. Just wait right here for him. Come on now. There we go. Perfect. And <laughs> there goes my hacking suite. You bastard! <laughs> you hit the thing that was the most valuable. Hey, who invited the mercs? Merc's going to circle around. He's going to come back down and come back up behind me. I need to finish this defender. All right. Plating again. Matter. Treads. Assault rifle. Ooh, we got the heavy assault rifle. Yay. Uh, let's step out and down. I think the Merc is back around here now. Slot on the assault rifle, which automatically replaced one of the lower versions because it's smart inventory that way. Let's see. Sort that. What can I throw into that position? The other drone bay? I want to save it. I got no other utility items to slot in. I'm not really all that worried about uh, or damage or anything like that right now on this level. Yeah, let's save it. Um... Mm -hmm. really take that other tread. I'm going to wait for him to come around that corner. There he is. Flap. Popped his leg off. All 
right, so grab the tread and leave the rest. Another transport! Come here, you. I'm gonna heavy assault you. Another heavy assault rifle! Yay! Fuck. Hey, come on now. Why did you not <laughs> replace the light assault rifle? Uh, oh, multiples. Cool. Let's get rid of the light. Pick up the other heavy. Scout is here to tattle on me. Medium armor plating. Thank you, yes. Data jacks, and uh, no, nah, I think we're good otherwise. You can feel free to grab whatever you want. Yes, I want to kill you. Uh, <laughs> apparently I failed and he zipped around back this way, I think, or through that door. Now I got a trooper coming for me. Let's get around the corner here. See how many troopers we got coming. Hey, stop hugging me. I need to get to this door. Well, that's not what I needed. That is not what I needed. We hit an EM trap? Yep, hit an EMP trap. Lovely. I think it blew up the, some of the little guys near me when the EMP went off. So, 1% system corruption. Our treads are about to fall off. My ion engine's pretty damaged. We got uh, at least one, possibly more mercenaries. Uh, we got more EMP traps. Storage units, matter, tractor beam. Don't care about any of that. Visual processor I don't want. Get in the doorway. High power tractor beams and seismic detectors. Scavengers dropping stuff into the recycling units. Let's just hide right here for now. I think I'll uh, I'll keep the assault rifles ready. We'll just wait for them to blow the treads off, and then we'll replace them. Be there, engineer. So, lost one of the treads. Um, again, get out of the way, engineer. Look at this medley of stuff. Medley. I wonder if there's a room down here and I can just go through the wall. Let's try that. I'd like to avoid going out into this trap-filled corridor if I can. So let's uh, let's get the flail out. We'll make a door with a flail. Nope. No direct. I could keep tunneling, but it risks things to do that. Notice all the engineers coming to rush over. They're going to fill that gap in <laughs> instantly. So many engineers. Get out of the doorway. And another Merc. I don't want to get pinned in while they just keep sending stuff at me. We'll wait again. Um, I don't want anything off of him, so I think I'll try to flail him to death. That was a big old miss. We both missed. Come on now. 65%. <laughs> core damage. 34. Straight to the core. Don't care. What do you think? Can I thread my way through here? <laughs> I'm going to bet I'm going to hit another EM tra EMP trap. Again, get out of the way, dudes. Ah, pests. All right. Change rooms. <laughs> Uh-oh. An explodey thing. <laughs> Dang it. I <laughs> just couldn't see it. Uh, now it's even worse. Well. So we've got uh, we got pests coming up the hallway, usually in a pack. I got a defender rolling its way over here. It would be a little bit before he gets a line of sight on me. Even though we can see each other now, I don't think he can shoot me from there. Will it let me shoot him? No, yeah. Lots of blockages. So, he'll have to trundle his way all the way over here. Possibly I can kill all the pests before he gets to me. I think I'll try to step to here again. We'll just have to risk the uh, reactor going off. But this way, he's forced to come all the way around one side or the other. So I should have a fair amount of time. There's the first pest. Ah, I should have switched out to both rifles. 
Yeah, let's go both rifles. Make another hit. Alright, that went pretty well. Engine's about to fall off, tread's about to fall off, plating's taken quite a few hits, but otherwise, not too bad. Hey, scavengers. <laughs> You're picking up all my stuff. It's my heavy assault rifle. Uh, scavenger grabs a leg, grabs an engine, grabs a flight unit. Flap. Oop. Locked. Oh! Well, hi, other other defender. What are we at? 228 matter? Everything else is okay. We're probably going to lose at least a tread or an engine on this fight. Unless I get real lucky. That's pretty lucky. Core hit, core hit. That's what we needed. Goodbye, you. So what did they leave me? Beam rifles I don't want. Flight units I don't want. Tractor beams, wheels, storage. Yeah, they left me all the stuff I don't need. Of course, they all they put them all in the recycler over here. I could go get it. Let's go look. I really want to get out of this area before more reinforcements come, but... Let's go uh, examine. So, report inventory. There it all is. <laughs> There's the light assault rifle. Yeah, I don't want any of that stuff. They can keep it. I could give it the command to compress it or recycle it, and then a bunch of matter would be able to pop out, but we're fine. Let's get out of here. See if I can get through this floor without setting off an EMP. Another EMP. Cool. A transport! Another one. Where are you? He's faster than me. <laughs> trying to go around? I think you're trapped in this room with me unless there's a secret door over there. Oh, apparently there's a door over there. Yep. <laughs> secret or not. Whoa! Hey there, Defender. So, transporter sends out a distress signal. Another defender. Uh, not good. There goes our engine. There goes our tread. <laughs> Some fights. You go two or three fights where you blap them in the core, blap them in the core, blap them in the core, and then you get to a fight where it's just, you hit every other thing except the core, and you end up shredding off most of your gear. Yeah, this is one of those fights. Uh, we still got plating, but barely. Definitely need to get a tread on, get an engine on. Need to get some replacements. So, there's a tread replacement. Reset our matter. And grab the plating. Ah, not that one. Damn it, so many defenders. Still don't have a uh, grenade launcher either. All right, let's wait for him while all these guys run blockage blockers for me. Another transport. Hey, buddy. Flap! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so many defenders! Uh, no line of fire yet. He has to move forward at least one more. Now he has to move forward again. Seven shots to kill that one. We lost the light armor. Um, we can pick up the light armor plating here. Another assault rifle. Uh, sure. All right. Just about maxed out on matter. It's all fine. No, no big deals. Actually, let's uh, get an improved eye on it. Leave off with all the damn uh, defenders, please. <laughs> Two of them and a mercenary. Get me out of this corridor, please. Uh, let's go back to a flail attack on this guy. So, Merc's got uh, just a small laser and legs and nothing I care about. So we'll try to flail him to death like that.
An assault rifle, a flail, and an assault rifle. Hmm. I'll stick to the heavies, thanks. Get away from me. Not fast enough to catch him. Um... And the pests are on the way. Dang it. Well, uh... There I get. And back to... Let's go with the shotgun. I think the shotgun... Is the shotgun better at pests? Because you only need light damage and it has multiple projectiles. I think probably going double shotgun if I had him. Would be good against pests or better than what I've got. All right, my medium armor plating's gone. Cleaned up the mess. Nah, we're fine. Get out of the way. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to kill him. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, tech. You coming this way? You're gonna try to get to this terminal? You coming? Yep, he's coming this way. I come on, come on, come on. Nope. Ah <laughs> uh, well. EMP traps, alarm traps, another transporter, rocket launchers, grenade launchers. Prototype flight units. No thanks. Uh, I just gotta run the gauntlet of EMP traps, huh? Whoa. Hey, buddies. <laughs> Let's leave them alone. Please, no trap. Please, no trap. Please, no trap. Terminal on the outside, too, huh? Okay, we got rocket launchers, we got mini grenade launchers. We're going for the mini first. Absolutely need one of those. Uh, resort, what do we got too many of? Do we give up on wheels for now? Or drop the light assault rifle, yes. Okay, we have a grenade launcher, yay! The mini grenade launcher. That will help, that gives us some options. Do we take a rocket launcher? Of course we do. Um, drone bay installed, and we'll grab a rocket launcher. That was kind of the last of the basic things that I wanted to get a hold of. As long as we got some backup assault rifles, backup treads, and an engine, then we've got our melee weapon and our our grenade options. Look at that, plating and heavy assault rifles too. Ah, a garrison. I don't have the hacking suite anymore. Uh, let's get rid of the damaged one. Hey, now. That's rude. I didn't even see him up in his little thing there. No, I don't want to fight right next to a garrison. Next to whatever that is. Get me out of here. I do want the plate, though. Nah, we'll get more. Get me out of his line of sight. Light EM pulse cannon and a large matter pod. And a huge storage unit. No, I'm not going to take advantage of that. And another defender. Another shotgun. <laughs> ah, it's a dead end. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, uh, I'd rather fight the guy here in the room first before that other guy gets here. Oh. Lucky hit. I think I'm tempted to go double shotgun. Let's try a double shotgun strategy. Um, hmm. Now well, choices are getting a little tight. Get rid of our backup wheel. 
And I'm going to try a double shotgun. Point blank against... Oh, dang it. I didn't quite get there in time. Eh. Reds again. Hey there, Terminal. <laughs> Not too many options here. We just need to get out of this area entirely. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was really worried about getting into a fight with a garrison nearby. Howdy, howdy there, Jelly Turtle. Emotes don't load for you? Yeah, it's uh, it's the one member benefit <laughs> is getting the uh, access to the emotes. So we could go with, uh, you know, some rocket launcher action or some grenade action. Flail them one by one by the door. The problem is not can I flail these. The problem is... I got a garrison nearby, and I got whatever this is nearby, and it could be just just unending waves, and I'll never get back out of here. I need to get past these guys right now and get 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 away from these two areas. Um, erg, they're gonna be faster than me by a, a forty points, so pretty significantly faster. I could probably get three or four spaces back when they hit this point, and I could start tossing grenades, but I think I'm going to end up opening a wall with these guys instantly activating, and then I'll have this whole corridor flooded with these, plus the, the garrison units coming down. Another option, I guess, would be to try to get back into this room and then go through the wall here. I don't remember if there... I don't think there was a door up here. But then try to kind of do an end run with these guys following me. But that's pretty unlikely. Let's it. Let's make some noise. Why not? Let's go with the uh, let's go with the rocket launcher. Let's go with the big guy. Fire. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> beautiful <laughs> oh man hilarious and he's still up three rockets later first one right into my own face oh so of course they didn't leave anything I care about because you know they're they're stupid we did open the wall like I feared. These guys haven't done anything yet. I'm just gonna get out of here. I gotta I gotta make room before more stuff shows up. No traps, please. Another transport. Turn off the rocket launcher. Go double shotgun again. Flight engines, no, nope, I don't want any of that stuff. <laughs> Flails and EMP blasters and a recycling and another defender. And I'm out of places to, to go again. Uh, where do I need to go? The floor is getting pretty pretty small. <laughs> where's, where's the exit? No known exits. I mean, there's not much room left for me to look at. I got like one door over here I didn't go in. And I think that's it. Unless it's behind a secret door, which would be a little rough. Uh, I haven't been in this room or these, so yeah, I gotta work my way back around. Oops. Alright. He'll shoot me a few times. Let's ignore him. 
Here comes a Merc. And I hit another EMP trap. They are too fast. I'm going to stop and fight them around the next corner. Yep, right here. Alright, double shotgun. At least we're away from the garrison. Anything fun? Beam rifles, heavy assault rifles, treads, low level treads. We're okay, we're okay. Nah, I think we're good. My shotguns are getting a little tore up. But we got plenty of heavy assault rifles to swap back to. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll go down this way. Watch, there's going to be a, a, a stair over here. Terminal. <laughs> yep. I'm starting to figure out how these levels work. Not like there was too many options here, but... Uh, we got all of the lore. Alert level is up to what now? 2T. That sounds like too much. That's too much. How about you? Nope, don't need any of that either. Still would like to get a damn sensor unit. Come here, you little scout. I'm going to blow it off you with shucking. Oh, the arc shows up. Come on. <laughs> That's so rude. He's he's a, he's an APC. He's carrying units. Probably because the game hates me. It's going to be a flock of drones. If not that, it's going to be like a couple of mercenaries, maybe three. Yeah. Mercenary, mercenary, bruiser, and trooper. Okay, so I can get to there. Then I either have to fight the whole crew. They're faster than me. I was hoping I could just step down, go through the wall, and go straight for the stairs, which I could do. I think we'd make it with our core, unless we got super unlucky. Only one at a time would be able to hit me as we made the trip. It'd be mostly down to how many swings would it take me to get through the wall. I think I'd rather do that, though. Let's pray they're not sending guys around. Let's go to the flail. Hit the wall. There you go. I'm learning. I'm learning. Doors? Where we're going, we don't need doors. Uh, okay. So, what did I talk about last time? We were going to do... What were we going to do? We're going to do... Uh, we're going to mix it. Prop and utility. I think I was going to mix it. I'm okay sticking with two weapons. I'm, I'm really trying to wean myself. As a, a newbie player, the, 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 the impression to go like, Weapons, 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 weapons. Ah, more weapons is good. Uh, is strong. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm forcefully keeping myself lean on weaponry uh, as I go along. But I'm going to stick with two weapons and one power for this one. So let's go ahead and go one and one this time. One extra prop, one extra utility. So while hitting the notification bell, let us know Vor has gone. Vorm has gone live. Um, I put up this notification that there was going to be a live stream several hours before the live stream. So it should have been in your feed, but you wouldn't have gotten an actual ping as a subscriber until I actually clicked the go live button, meaning I, I was on camera. Um, but you should see it in your feed, and you can click on the little notifier that tells you, hey, remind me about this. That way, if I schedule one like a day or two ahead, you'll know, and you can just click on the little reminder bell thingy, and um, it'll let you know. Heat management is the key to weapons free. It is very much so. You don't you don't really it doesn't really matter much in the very early game when you only got one or two weapons, but yeah. Uh, later on, energy management, matter management, heat management, all of it becomes really critical, and knowing how things work and knowing how to put builds together that that, that can handle the various both positive and negative uh, attributes and consequences is pretty important. 
But yeah, I'm trying to keep myself uh, low weapon slots. I'm forcing myself to go low weapon slots for a while. It's actually worked pretty well. I, I haven't had too many occasions where I, I died and went, wow, if I only had one more weapon slot, <laughs> that would have been totally different. Usually it's not the lack of weapon slots that gets me. Okay, so once again, we've gone up a level, we got our slots, we got our core healed, we got our, and upgraded to more hit points, we got our system corruption fixed, we got our extra slots. Um, no way was I going to come out of that fight on the positive side. We were going to get a bunch of stuff stripped off of us, possibly lose our core if I tried to fight all those guys. Uh, and none of them had anything that would have advanced the, um, the build any, so it was by far the better choice to pull them around that edge, go through the wall, and just hop on out of the level. Okay, so before we move, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to double shotgun. Yeah, I'm having fun with the double shotgun, although it's fairly short range. Let's go back to double heavy assault rifle. We can switch to the shotguns when things get up close and personal. All right, so uh, treads. Let's throw another tread on. We're up to uh, 60 mass capacity. And, uh, you know, another bullet sponge, another bullet shield. We're down to 9% core exposure. That's also important. Make sure you keep stacking stuff on. The more you stack in here, the lower your core exposure is going to be, especially if it's high coverage, high uh, integrity items. Uh, I don't have anything else to put into my utility slots, so we'll be on the lookout there. I'm still trying to get a whole damn sensor. Can't seem to find a sensor. Particle cannons. No, we're not going particle cannons this run. Small store. Oh, there's the storage stockpile and some improved plating up there. Improved light armor. Uh, what are we at right now? We're at medium. I want a large, please. Give me large. And we'll dump the medium. Large, you go up there. Armor, you go down there. So we're up to 15. We got more slots, more stuff. Always good to be able to carry more stuff, more backup stuff. Uh, if you notice, another thing to be aware of is, uh, if we look at the coverage, notice coverage on the large storage unit is tiny. Doesn't take, doesn't take hits very often. I can't, I don't think I've ever lost a storage unit to enemy fire. Other than, you know, I just totally overwhelmed and everything got blowed off of me. But, um, then usually the core goes before the storage unit goes. But, very low chance to get hit. So, you don't have to worry about replacing them too often. They have a lot of integrity. So, they're, they're really durable. Okay, so we got more slots to carry crap, basically, but I don't need extras of any of these, so don't worry about them. Let's go check out the terminal. Uh, alert level. We went up a level. We're down to 1D. I don't have an option to try to lower it any further currently. I don't need... I'm not sure what dispatch records actually does. No, let's not try that again. We will go get some more plating, though. Yes, light armor and improved armor. Let's switch those two out. Armor on the bottom. All right, I'm going to follow the wall north and then around. Assault cannon three. Uh, I'm tempted. I'm so tempted. I'm going to I'm going to stay off of the assault cannons this time. Um branch access points. Alert level. Yep, don't need those. No branch. So does that mean I succeeded and I didn't find any, or I failed? No, it's it's. Oh, there there aren't any. That can't be right. It must be a range thing. It must only show stairs within a certain range of this terminal. There's got to be stairs. Hey there, Defender, sitting in the middle of the hallway. All right. Uh, heavy assault rifle or switch real quick to the double shotgun. I don't need anything off this guy now. We've got heavy assault rifles in fair quantity. Um, eh, I might take an, an extra tread or two. So, yeah, we'll, we'll assault rifle him. Hopefully we get treads, then the assault rifle. 
We got neither. <laughs> we got none of what I wanted. No secret doors. Secret doors. Or... No. Medium armor plating, cryo webs, and yet another. So, this one we haven't seen yet, the Scanalyzer. Scanalyzer, you can put an item in the Scanalyzer, and it basically gives you a blueprint. And you can keep that with you, and later, if you find a fabricator, you can use the uh, blueprint that the Scanalyzer provided for you to craft whatever you scanned. So, if your build is heavy on needing armor or assault rifles or whatever, you just pick whatever item you think you're going to be needing or replacing a lot, like, like armored treads or something. And then every time you come across uh, the fabricator, you can uh, you can whip some up. Um, same kind of a fight. We'll just wait for him to come to me. Hey there, David Hinkle. Thanks very much for the gold membership. Welcome, welcome. Long time kiss YouTube viewer, or are you 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 new to the the Vormithrax stuff? What's your status? Inquiring minds like mine want to know. Come to me, Defender! And he goes. Wow, we, we, we blew everything off of him. He didn't leave us anything. So, Cryo Fiber Web, a pretty cool item. I haven't dealt with a real laser run yet with heat management and all that, but lowers base temperature. Protects power sources from forced shutdown while overheating. 25% chance, chance to prevent other types of overheating. So that's really cool. Actually, just occurred to me, some people probably are um, signing up for memberships but aren't actually watching the uh, the live stream. <laughs> I assume since I see the message in the live stream. But uh, they, they could be uh, not connected. They keep wanting to give me processing units. This just increases the range, that your, your sight range. So if I was standing down here looking north, my sight range, I don't know what it actually is. It's like 12 or 14 spaces. Um, this would improve my sight range by four. So I'd be able to see further up. That way we might be able to spot things before they spotted us, and we could then back away or, or make uh, make other plans. So it's probably valuable but and very useful in certain circumstances, but I want the, I want the damn sensor thing. Uh, medium armor plating. We definitely want that. So let's grab some medium armor plating. And uh, keep moving around. Yeah, how about scanalyzer? Hey there, scanalyzer. What would I scanalyze? I really don't want to scanalyze treads. I might. <laughs> drone bay? Hey, let's scanalyze a drone bay. Does it does it give you the bay and the drones if you make one of these? I'm not sure. Let's get out of here. I'm curious. Let's try to scanalyze a drone bay. Insert component. Drone bay. Failed 80% near success. Followed decoy. <laughs> try again. Drone bay. Scanning drone bay. Ready to analyze. Analyze. Schematic downloaded. Well, there you go. Hopefully we stay alive long enough where I can go try to fab one of these. Uh, oh, it got rid of the drone bay? It converts it into the actual... Oh, no, it didn't. There it is. Yeah, get, get you back on there. Maybe I should activate my drone bay again. Let the drones do their thing and then um, just... Keep it for armor for now until it gets blown off and then try to build one. We're kind of stuck. I gotta go south now. There's n unless there's a secret door, I didn't find one. Let's go over to this side. Oh, hey there, defender. Uh, assault rifles. Or shotguns. He is going to step directly adjacent. Let's switch back to the shotguns until they get blowed off me. Oh, and the pests too. Definitely shotguns. Hey, pests. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Here goes the engine. <laughs> Alright, so... Our drone bay took a whole bunch of damage. I definitely need to get that thing activated and used. Other than that, we just lost our engine. Just. 
light unit, matter, assault rifles, particle cannon, yeah, don't need any of this stuff. Uh, let's go to the door. I'm going to let loose the drones. Out you go, drones. All right, over to allies. I'm just going to tell them both to go scouting. Explore and explore. Hopefully they pick different directions. And um, let's let them rip. See what we see. They went the same direction. Defender unit, storage unit. They're going to get popped by this defender if they keep going that way. Yep. <laughs> oh, one's still alive. Yes, run away, Mr. Drone. Come this way. Oh, you're going to bring the, defen the defender with you? All right, that's fine. Oh, we came back to the bay. Uh, no. I wish I could tell him to go south. Go south, little drone. Does he have like a time frame he's not allowed? Oh, there we go. Now he's out again. Oh, you're going to go... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, oh, there we go. Floor. Got to get used to using these things. Yay, he went south this time. All right, now we're just waiting for the uh, defender to show up. Whoa! What you doing to me down there, buddy? Well, he's dead again. And there were like three, four guys down there. And it's the end of a long hallway. Open. So I didn't... Oh, no, he's not dead. He's coming back to me. Well, now you're making this all awkward. If that guy went back again. Yep, oh, he's being chased now. Bruisers, troopers, troopers. So this is a melee unit. He's got a hammer. Got a hammer. He's going to try to smash me. Um, let's, let's, let's make some noise. We haven't really made noise yet. What do you think? Mini grenade launcher or the rockets at range? Uh, what is the range? 14 range versus, oops, um, 10 range. So it had to be the rocket launcher if we were going to start firing sooner rather than later. Yeah, let's do some rocketing. What the heck? And, um, yeah, we'll do an assault rifle for this. So not in range currently. Apparently they lost track of them. They're not coming north. Oh, well, there's the bruiser. Now he spotted me. Okay, fire. Let's eh, make some noise. Time to stop the rocket launcher. He's melee, so we got quite a few opportunities to pick him apart at range. Like so. All right, nothing fun, nothing fun. Do we go south through the wreckage or go take care of this guy? Go south. Oops. And the drone is back in the bay. Hey, drone, go out and do your job again. More exploring, please. Hostile spotted. Huge storage. Ooh, high power shotgun. We'll grab that. Um, alarm trap. Terminal. Great mall. Uh, our flail is three. No, our flail is rating two. I don't want to set off alarm traps, though, but they could be in a fairly wide area here. I think I'm going to go back out and around if the um, wall hasn't been fixed yet. Buddy, finally, he's getting some stuff done. Garrison unit with the defender in front of it. It looks like there might not be an exit out of there. More rocket launchers. Don't need flight units. Legs. All right, I'm not seeing anything down here I care about or want. Improved data jack wouldn't be terrible. 
Oh, armor treads. Well, we want that. <laughs> we'll grab that. We'll check the terminal, and I think I'll go out this way. And down goes the drone. All right, so both drones are dead. Whoops. Hey, trooper. Uh, hey, other, other, other trooper. Go mini grenade launcher. Fire. We got Commando on the way. Saw rifle and Gauss rifle. And he is faster than me. I need to get around the corner at least. Uh, I need a door or a corner. <laughs> Legs. So I didn't get that armored tread I wanted, unfortunately. Oh, rank 4 remote data jacks. Matter filters. Matter filters are pretty cool. They reduce the matter requirements. Reduces matter cost of firing any weapon by 30%. I don't think it can be reduced below 1, though. Hey there, transport unit. So, I could try to take the guy. We've got exploders right behind me, unfortunately. Not sure he'll be... Ugh, I got a big opening here. Sure would like that armored tread, but I'm worried about more activity coming down that hall. Yeah, we got uh, we had like five drone bays uh, on the last floor. I just took two to play around with. Let's uh, let's keep moving. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get squished. I'm gonna get squished. <laughs> huh. Go to there. And let's fire. Glorious. Glorious! Love it. Okay. <laughs> that, was, that was an awesome opportunity there. Couldn't pass that one up. Uh, so the commando's on his way around the corner here. I think I'm just going to let him approach. I could fire to the point right in front of him, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, he's shooting through the wall. I forgot. You're one of those guys. Blap! There goes the drone bay. That's fine. All right. Cool. Oh, crap. Matter low. Way low. Rocket launcher off. Uh, assault rifle on. Got light armor plating we can throw on. Engine's about to go again. I'd love to go scoop up all this matter. I'm just worried about the uh, consequences. What else is on the way? Let's try to go back this way, though. I'll risk it. I want those armored treads. Need to refill on matter. Tiny, tiny blots of matter. Come here, armored treads. All right, yay, armored treads, 300 integrity with a 12% coverage, a 7% core exposure. Try to keep those up. That would be one I'd be willing to scandalize. All right, so sort this again. I have no, uh, no backup engine currently, ouch. Uh, parts. Like core nuclear light engine. All right, we'll go grab the. Uh... Yeah, we got another one over here. All right, we'll grab some of this stuff. And we'll keep going.
Hey there, informer. You're being rude. Ah, defender. Join the party, huh? Let's... Need to cross this area here. I'm only at 65 matter. I gotta be real cautious. I can't be kicking out rockets and grenades like that. Hmm. Really don't want to back up. Could we still got that one uh, guardian in this area? I think to deal with. I do come back. Let's go ahead and do that though. We got some more matter we can scoop up in this hallway. That's catching me a little too quickly. Another transport. All right, we'll take a shot. Oh, I'm gonna get myself stuck. I gotta kill this guy. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get another one over here. Uh both my armors are about to fall. Oh, I got three armor platings. Really? That's that's uh that's too too many. <laughs> I need more utility slots. I just can't seem to get them. The ones I want off of the enemies. Ah, uh. What'd we lose? One of the armor? Fine. More stuff that blows up, and there he is. I don't think he spotted me. So we're going to be nearly point blank. Let's go back to shotguns. It'll be funny. I'll step through the door. He'll blow both my shotguns off. <laughs> Got one of the armor. And another defender. Go away, you. All right, so on the ah, another trap, stupid EMP traps. Uh, I'm going to hit them all. <laughs> We're going to hit all of the MP traps. Engines, wheels, flight units, recycler. We're back to full on matter. Um, yeah, let's try not to hit any more of those. Nuclear cores. Matter. We got to we're at max. All right, I'm to sort some things. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Sure. Let's grab a tractor beam. Take off one of these light armor. Bought in a tractor beam. Long range tractor beam. Oh, wait. How much power does that use? Okay. What do we got? Uh oh. The M14 sweeper. I don't have that one. 2Z. I don't want it to be 2Z. Erg. Hmm. 
Hey, we got it. Minesweepers, new class derived from the mechanic. Though built around a more secure core than normally found among non-combat robots for added protection while carrying out their primary duty. Sweeper deployment only recently became necessary as a result of increasing derelict use of traps in the caves to impede patrol efforts. Okay. Alright, how we doing? Gonna get the engine swapped out soon. Treads are about to go. Uh, hey, everything else is fine. Can't believe I still don't have a sensor. Another informer. And he warns everybody in the area, and here come the pests, and once again, I'm out in the open. I'm it! <laughs> They're so fast! This guy's blocking for me. Good job, scavenger. Good job. All right, shotguns. Stay alive long enough to blap a few of these, please. Yay. Yay. Yeah, I think shotguns is the superior choice for close range against those things. There's probably other ones. Ah, rogue. That a melee? Katana. Um, Definitely not shotgunning him. I don't want a rocket launch from out here. Guess we're gonna go assault rifles. You gonna have buddies backing them up? Yep. Crap. Ah, it's great. So now I got pests coming in behind me, and I got a combat squad in front of me with a melee guy coming fast. That had better be just one single pest. I need to be hitting this guy. I gotta ignore the pest. I gotta get rid of this guy. Now I think I do have to go to a grenade launcher. And a power's gun. There. Really? <laughs> it's too far. Uh, yep, it's too far. I can't get out of line of sight without going through the door. I'd have to rocket launch him. Didn't quite get him. Love it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. We get him with uh, three sp or two spaces away. Uh, secondary damage. Uh, let's go with the uh, the flail. Ouch! Ouchy! Get the engine back on. The treads back on. Energy low. Okay. It'll all be okay. We're gonna we're gonna one hit both of these guys. He's trying to maintain distance because he knows they have a melee weapon, so he keeps backing off. You bastard. Uh, fine, go with the high powered shotgun. High powered shotgun's doing terrible. Well, that's a bit of a miss. That was a terrible round. Now I'm back to being short on treads. Uh, we're down to one armor. I have no replacement. Uh, nope. Two armors. Matter's okay. Energy's okay. Core's still eh. Let's go back to the assault rifles. Yeah, that was that was pretty messy. Give me that. Uh, that's. Need to locate some stairs is what I need to do. Hey, you. Come here. Prototype ballistics. It could be fun. So prototypes are basically unidentified, if you're familiar with uh, old school roadlikes. You could slot it in and use it, but it's possible it's a defective item. Just like a cursed item, uh, if you try to use a uh, unidentified item in the old roguelikes. So we got a couple of prototype ballistics. I've got spots, so let's go ahead and grab them. 
There are ways to identify them. Cool. All right, we're back in okay shape. We got power, we got weapons. I really need to get some more of the heavy assault rifles. We lost so many of them. Um, let's keep going down this way. Need to get out of these big corridors if I can. Where am I on the map? Kind of right in the middle. That's a terrible place to be. Light armor plating again. Air unit. Let's see. What do I want to repair? My armored treads is what I want to repair. So let's pull that off. And uh, scan components. Armored treads. Repair. Wait for the timer. And grab our newly repaired armored dreads. Anything else? Engines, easy to replace. Armor plating's easy to replace. Shotguns, eh, I got replacements. I think we're fine. Arm traps all over the corridor and the stairs. Bunch of core analyzers. Increases target core exposure by 6%. That's pretty good if you got the uh, utility slots. Give yourself a 6% boost to being able to hit the core. Prototype energy. Ooh, compressed matter pod. Go get a compressed matter pod. Um, I think I'm going to ditch that one. Just go ahead and get it slotted right on. Now I know where a stair is. I'm going to move around just a little bit around the stair before we head on up. Where are you? We really, really, really want a scanner, and I can't get one. <laughs> they just refuse to give me a scanner. This is where we set an alarm off, and we're instantly surrounded. Oh, a bunch of flat guns! So, upgraded shotguns. No critical hit option, though. Do shotguns have critical hits? Shotguns do have critical hits, so not quite the same. I think this is the can like a cannon version. So ballistic weapon, that. Ballistic gun. Ballistic gun, ballistic gun. Yeah. I don't want to see the comparison. 16 range. Yeah, screw it. Let's go with uh, flat guns. Plus, there's a lot of them. Goodbye, shetties. Grab, grab. Okay. Sort. So we're full up on gear. We got flat guns. We got the high power shotgun, assault rifles. Too many cores. Let's get rid of the damaged one. And we still got a couple of prototypes we got to get figured out. I uh, don't want remote data jacks for now. Don't want ore analyzers for now. Hey there, Defender. I'm just going to take the stairs. Okay, off of the factory we go. Another level complete. Um, is it time to go another power? I don't think it is. Utility and... Do we do double utility this run? Or this floor? We're starting to run into enough utility items that I really am feeling the need to uh, get this stacked up. So far, I'm still feeling fairly comfortable with two weapons. Yeah, let's do double utility. And the next round, I think I'll go prop utility, and the round after that, if we're still alive, we'll go power utility. So many of the slot thingies!
Okay, let me uh, do a little channel maintenance here. One second. All right, I think we're okay there. Yeah, of course, still 10% exposed. Yeah, power and prop could be a possibility for the next round. I do not disagree. Heavy of the lasers, recycler. I don't need that right now. Well, it could have fun stuff in it. Let's go check it. What do you got? Ooh, never mind. Security 3, very high. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's go out into the really huge hallway. Guardian, that has not spotted me. I think I'm just going to leave him alone. Plasma cannon? Any secret doors? Be a no. Back out into the really big corridor. Lightning gun. Uh oh, the DSF. We got an opportunity for a DSF. Do I dare go into a DSF right now? Hmm. Hmm. I think, I think, I think. I think I'm not. System restoration module. Good to have one of those. So these will allow you to purge system corruption. So 4% chance each turn while it's installed to purge 1% of system corruption. Loses 3 integrity. So it's got 5 uses basically. So you can purge up to 5% of system corruption before it breaks and drops off. Good to have one if you've got the slots available to carry it around. Hey there, Informer. Tattling on me already, are you? Yep, and all the DSF locations go in lockdown. Huh? We don't have the option now. Uh, well, that was quick. <laughs> so, Trooper, Gladiators, Melee, Troopers, Ranged. What are my numbers looking like for Flak at this range? 34 with me moving currently. I don't want to engage in Melee with a Gladiator. Whoops. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, Let's make noise right at the beginning of a level. Doesn't seem like a real good idea. Do it anyway. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible swing. Back up to there. Here comes the gladiator. He's rushing me. Ah, he's so fast. <laughs> Crap. Let's go uh, flat gun with a high-powered shotgun. Finish this guy, please. Nope. All right, thank goodness. Then we'll back around the corner to force him to come to me at point blank, and we'll finish him with the point blank. Uh, let's see. Get some more armor on, I guess. 
Nothing else to slot in currently. Come to me, Mr. Little Soldier Guy. You left nothing behind? Really? <laughs> Bit of matter. Ah, stupid big hallways. What do we got? Melee analysis suites. Uh, deuterium engines. Improved field recycling units. Hmm. Collects parts to recycle them into matter. Uh, I'm not against it. We're doing a bit of melee. Let's go ahead and get a melee analysis suite slotted in. And I think I'm going to go without the um, the recycling unit. We've got the tractor beam that's doing a pretty good job. And we got a compressed matter pod. It's imp increasing our... Uh... Yeah, we're up to 450. Let's go with that combo for a while. We'll go get the engine. Better than these? Eh, it's about the same. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of the door. Shock absorption. So that uh, enables explosive damage resistance. Ooh. Constant six point energy drain. But um, then I could danger close. Point blank. Grenade launch with a little bit of uh, protection. We'll grab it. We're full up again. Sending the programmers and I'm in the big hallway again. Whole damn floor is just big hallways. Proton bombs. I'm trying to follow this wall over here. And that's the end of following that wall. Let's, uh, let's see if there's Possibly. No. Nope. What over here? No. Nope. Okay. Guess we'll keep following this. Oh, hacker. Point blank hacker, and I got a flail out. Go for the flat gun first. Flat gun first. Thank you, sir. Goes my engine. We got the target analyzer. Dang it. Well, I guess we'll slot in the core he left me. Uh, weapon crit chances upgrade. So, I mean, we could stack a bunch of utilities on crit upgrades and all sorts of fun stuff. I'm not getting a whole lot of use out of some of this, these things. Tempted to get rid of one of the armor platings. What are we down to? Still at 9%. Yeah, let's get one of the X. Get rid of the, that one. Slot on in. Hey, stay down there where I put you. <laughs> Ticket door! <laughs> Still not getting me up into this side over here. Pushing me right into the middle of the map. So we move to the factory floors now from the material levels. So as you can see, bottom corner. Way bigger. Way bigger. Not often I fully explore these levels. So much bigger. Is this game worth it to learn? Absolutely yes. As long as you are, I mean, watch a bit and do some research. Make sure it's the type of game you enjoy. But, uh, yeah, it's a very high-quality game. I got no problems recommending to people. Analysis suites, energy filters, armor treads! Yay! Armor treads. Hey, what happened to my old armor treads? Apparently I lost my old armor treads and I didn't notice. <laughs> that, that sucks. Oh, there they are. What the hell? Did I not put them back on? Not sure what happened there. Armor treads, please. Hard to get good treads. Uh, component analysis suite. So we have these prototype ballistic guns. This identifies things. 3% chance to identify a random unidentified part in inventory each turn. So all I gotta do is slot it on for something and then just move around or wait and it'll identify these prototype ballistic guns for us. 
So let's go ahead and um, take off the tractor beam temporarily. We'll slot that on. Did you just grab my tractor beam? <laughs> Bad monkey. Bad monkey. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see. Let's drop. Oh, man, I really don't want to drop any of that stuff. Let's drop the heavily damaged... My only extra tread. Let's just wait here for a bit. It shouldn't take long for these to identify, and then I can reorient the gear. So... Yeah, yeah. Pick up whatever you want. I'm holding all the stuff I care about. There. Are they done? Yeah, they're done. Enhanced auto guns. All right. So we're done with the component analysis suite. Uh, so these are what? Rating three prototypes. Enhanced auto gun. Hmm. Good range. 18 range. 14 to 20. Kinetic with a crit. 25 heat. Two recoil. One energy. Four matter per shot, though. Huh. Compare that to the flak gun. Ouch. Flak gun's got uh, six projectiles kicking out of it. And that's why it's quite different. I think I'm going to stick to the flak guns. I, I think I'll leave the enhanced auto guns. You can have them, guys. Uh, no, this way. Hey there, Rocco. Or I'm live on YouTube. Yeah, this is kind of my first official YouTube stream for gaming in quite a while. I did a test stream earlier today, but that's all that was, was just a test. And only a test. Recycler, seismic detector, advanced treads. Look at that. Fancy. Armored huge wheels. Those are good, too, if you're doing the wheel thing. Actually, I should take that. Uh, if I can find space... Oh, it's it's uh, the two-slot item. Ah, two propulsion spaces, and it's going to take two in my inventory here as well, so it won't let me pick it up because I've only got one available. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. 250 integrity and 120 coverage is really big for a wheel, and, uh, man... I'm, I'd like to take it, but I don't have the storage for it. But uh, that's a great emergency item. If you get all your treads blown off and you got nothing else, throw one of those wheels on and you got good protection and huge amount of uh, mass overage you could deal with. We're not going to do it this time, though. What's in the recycler? You got anything fun? Legs, energy guns, micro actuators, tractor beam. No, nothing I care about. I don't need the matter, so we're not going to process it. Yeah. Don't need it. Gauss cannons. I'm trying to stay away from cannons this time. Not for me. the stairs where they go up to the next level of the factory so we have an exit point established i'm gonna poke around a little more medium treads rank four thank you very much all of a sudden they're being pretty uh, pretty generous with the treads i don't like these big long open hallways though you can get a lot a lot of patrols coming on on you Another component analysis suite. Um, I don't know if I want to go too much further. I don't expect to get much more off this level. I think I'm just going to go up again. Cargo convoy on route. Clear transfer corridor. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid. Up we go. 
All right, let's do one more prop and I want to keep stacking this, but let's bite the bullet and get that second power. I shouldn't need, I don't think I'll need more than this or that. So I think from here out, it's going to be like 90% utility and maybe one more weapon slot eventually. All right, treads. Medium tread. Come on, load me in. Medium tread. And uh, we'll go with the light. All right, still got a good amount of mass available to us for installations. Ouch. Hey there, Guardian, firing Gatling lasers and flak guns. Hmm. Mm. Let's just bring him to me and end him with the uh, high power up close weaponry. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Four hits, please. Improved light armor plating, rank three. So that one. Do I have any backups of the armor? Do not. All right. We'll grab it. Heavy missile launchers. Well, that sounds awesome. Let's ditch the rocket launcher, which is tier two. Rating two? Yeah, we'll ditch the rocket launcher, rating two. We'll pick up a heavy missile launcher. Just one. Um, fair amount of coverage with not a lot of integrity, so they're fairly fragile. Range of 14. Hmm. And it's a single missile. Yeah, let's grab one more for now. Oh, yeah. And also... Magnetic Acceleration Cannon. That's also Ballistic Kinetic. Man, they really are trying to get me onto the cannons. It's got a critical. 22 range. I can't even see nearly that far. <laughs> it's far outside my sight range. Huh. I have to stack up the advanced visual unit with uh, to be able to fire this thing at max range. Maybe not even then. Uh, four energy, six matter, and a fair amount of heat firing that thing, huh? With a pretty hefty recoil. That's uh, that's an interesting one. Ooh, what are we rocking? That's the advanced. Sure, replace that. Yeah, let's ditch a um. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the 50 Calicog mine. We are nowhere near the really good stuff. <laughs> there is some crazy exotic high-powered stuff up on the upper, upper levels. We're only on, what, what floor are we on now? Like five? Uh, backspace. We're on six, so we got a long way to go still. Plus, we didn't hit any of the side levels except for this one storage area. We didn't hit, like, going... Laterally, three different areas into the uh, the mines and caves and all the other stuff. Sometimes I go out three and then up two and then over. And then I drop down a chute and drop back onto the same level but a different map. Then I have to go back again. And this one's been fairly vertical. Uh, I'm going to take it with me. I, I want to see how it does. We'll drop a one assault rifle for that. Sounds fun. Hey there, Processor, which is an upgraded scavenger. Hey there, Informer. I am going to shoot you in your big dumb face right now. I failed to kill your big dumb face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's at least go verify where those go. Terrain Scanner 5. Another factory floor. We could go up immediately. How fast do I want to just... Run to the north, or run vertically. 
Somebody tattled on us. I'm going to at least go check the local area. If we can grab anything else. There are some pretty good improvements we might be able to get access to. Hey, you. I just can't kill these guys. <laughs> I keep trying. Another mag cannon. Uh, let's check over here first. Yep, you coming back for some more? Round three? Finally! Sensor array! That's like the, what, fourth one I had to kill? Alright, something's gotta go. I think the... Let's see. Shock absorption system. Which, if I want to keep... Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, thank God. Finally got the sensor. There we go. So, with the sensor, we'll be able to see enemies nearby through walls and so on, assuming we're not getting jammed. And the signal interpreter will actually identify them for us. So, if you don't have the signal interpreter, you just get like a red question mark to show a unit there. But with the signal interpreter and the, uh, the sensor array... Eh, it's fine. Uh, we'll be able to actually tell what we're, we're coming up against. So, it's a huge help. Can't believe I made it this far without getting a stupid sensor off those things. Improved hacking suite five. Yes, I would like that too. Um, I think the backup heavy missile launcher is going to go for that. There's a terminal. Let's get this advanced hacking suite in and see what kind of nonsense we can get up to. Um. Go with the temporarily the improved sensor array. Oh man, it's one of those that welds in. Crap. Oh well. What are we looking at? Security level two, detention fifty percent. That's too too tough. Too tough. Give me an easier one. Nope. <laughs> Uh, the B-75 Beast. I have not acquired that. I haven't got archives. I haven't got combat hover systems. I'd love to get these, but not at this chance. Alert level. Terminal indexes. The, the stairs that are on the floor. Yeah, this would be a great one to hack, but not at those danger levels. A launcher loader. Reduces firing time for any launcher by 50% if fired alone. Incompatible with weapon cyclers and autonomous or overloaded weapons. Launcher loader. Hmm. How do you tell the firing time on a, on, on a launcher? So, if we just do... I want to look like the heavy missile launcher. What's the... Where, where, what's the stat or info that indicates firing time? Delay? Direct modifier to the time it takes to fire the weapon. Some weapons are inherently faster or slower to fire. All right. So, reduces firing time by 50%. Does that mean it cuts the delay from 20 to 10, or is it some other thing? Standard is 200? Okay. So, if it was standard and then plus 20 for that particular heavy launcher, so 220... Um, that's pretty significant. You could probably get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of shots off. Huh. Oh, two slots. Ouch. Man, you're paying for that. Two utility slots for that. That is a really specialized item. I think you've got to be doing a pretty specialized build to, uh, to do that one. We're not going to try to do that one. All right, so we're getting a little further away from those stairs than I'm comfortable with currently, but we haven't seen anything on the uh, on the radar recently. Why am I not seeing these guys on radar? Because um, I took off my improved sensor array is why. Uh, here you go. I need to know what's coming. Interesting. Signal interpreter's not grabbing that. We're 
propulsion shielding, actuator array, hardened light armor plating, gauss rifle. That's only level two, though. Hyper velocity gauss rifle. Uh, we got to grab that, right? Rating five, ballistic, kinetic with um, penetration. So these are percentage chances it'll pass through the target. <laughs> Chances projectile may penetrate each consecutive object it hits. So, yeah, that means not just enemies. That means walls. That means all sorts of stuff. It's fun when you get up a few levels and the enemies just start blasting through walls with these penetrating guns. So you can't do the hide on the corner of the door thing as much because they'll just shoot you right through the wall. <laughs> That's good times. So we definitely got to grab this. Is it time to finally start replacing um, the good old heavy assault rifles? Only 67 damage. Ouch. Hmm. That is the per weapon chance of follow up melee attacks. So improves melee attack ability. And the propulsion shielding. Actually. Hmm. Hmm. All right, why not? I got mass to spare. Yeah, I guess we'll go. So, if I leave that in, we got so many things that are now slotted in that are destroyed. If I pull them, got to keep the large storage. Could ditch the matter pod, but I'd really rather not. And I really don't want to drop the sensor array. So, my ability to move things around is a little restricted at the moment. Let's just go ahead and go with what we got. I think I'm just going to go up a level. I don't think I'm going to get too many more upgrades here. Shoot trap. I do not want to go down a shoot. Do not, do not, do not want to go down. Advanced Signal Interpreter 5. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Alien analysis, lasers. I just want the Advanced Signal Interpreter currently. see <clears throat> I'm gonna wrap around this way and see if I might be able to make an entry back to the stairs that I can I can skedaddle through uh oh technicians spotted um probably connected to that terminal 
More drone bays. Uh-oh. Fun stuff. Large storage unit. A what? A combat air jet hover unit? I don't remember seeing that during my last hover run. Hmm. And uh, more drone bays. Your rank five drone bays. Uh, yeah, combat air jets. <laughs> I, I don't, I mean, I don't remember seeing them previously. They're probably pretty cool, but we're going with a tread run this time, so I'm not going to transition over into hover for this one. Oh, nice plating. Definitely go grab that. Hey there, buddies. All right. So, get rid of that one. Grab that one. That's why I've been trying to get a sensor. Just having that kind of knowledge and information about what's around you. So, so big a deal. Let's uh, go away from them. I think I'm going to head back that other direction. Target analyzers. That is better than what I've got currently. Don't want to hit blade traps either. I can wait on that one. Ah, here come the viruses. Okay. Hey, a fabricator. We've been waiting for one of those. I think it's definitely mini grenade time. Uh, I don't have that um, make launcher, the launcher thing. So we've got, oops, work these things out again. Two different platings. Heavy missile launcher. I want to try the heavy missile. Hey, buddies, you want to shoot me from down there? Okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh, awesome problem solved uh let's go to uh flak now we gotta get out of here before the attention draws too much other stuff whoa i'm at 276 on the matter already have i not been paying attention to that Need to blow up some recyclers. Or processors. Come to me, processor. There's 115. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm being bad. They're coming for me. So, my stairs are there. We got a trap, shoot trap I'm trying to avoid. I got a long way to get back to those stairs if I get in trouble. Ah, an angel! An angel! And a freighter! Oh crap, wait. Oh, that's the convoy! Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed! <laughs> no! Here comes the convoy! All right, well, this might very likely be the end of this run. <laughs> Yeah, boom goes the dynamite. We face planted it into a convoy. Uh, okay, well, what am I going to do about this? Slot in the, uh, the missile launcher and the grenade launcher and just start rapid firing? <laughs> I don't think I have a choice here. Yeah, it's going to be Blaze of Glory time. Until they get shot off. They're going to get shot off pretty quickly. So here come the arcs. What kind of firing arc do I have available to me? We're going to hit the edge of that there. These things are power conduits. These explode also. So I'm going to put a shot right there. 
try to anyway. Hopefully we cook off the power conduits and we get some good secondary hits on these guys. This is going to be interesting. Well, it was centered really well. <laughs> and I'm standing out in the open. <laughs> That's great. Oh, man. Disruptors, Slayers, Smiths, Packers, lots of hackers. Angels, which, uh, so Angels, I, I guess I should show what some of these do. Soldiers, pretty straightforward. Angel, though, this is a new one. So this is a defensive unit. It's a protector unit. It has remote force fields. Blocks 50% of damage to self and any visible allies within a range of 10 in exchange for energy loss at a, at a 1 to 8 ratio. So that's why he's got uh, improved deuterium engines times 2, power amplifiers, high capacity batteries, and so on. So he's a shield unit for himself and the nearby units. Then we have uh, this dude, the Disruptor. He's firing arc projectors and improved arc projectors. Those are EMP weapons, so we're getting corrupted, we're getting scrambled, um, lots of stuff happening due to that. And of course, just all the other stuff. Lots of hackers. We still haven't taken out the freighter. I don't think we even did a single point of damage to it. Oh, there's two angels. Oh yeah, we're, we're so dead. This this will be the end of this particular run. <laughs> we're not going to survive this. Uh, yeah, I angered the convoy while standing in the middle of a wide, large corridor. <laughs> the worst. It's just the worst. So, they got my matter pod in the first salvo. And they almost got my heavy missile launcher. I'm going to be lucky if I get more than one more shot with the heavy missile launcher. Oh, I already knew about Yallers. I actually tangled with Yallers in like my very first episode, or my very first run. And I survived it. I didn't pull the whole convoy, though. But, um, yeah, yeah. Not much I could have done. We were already spotted by the time I knew uh, what I was looking at. So, all right. We're just going to stand and fire. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to lose the launcher after this next shot. So unless I kill like half of these things, which is not going to happen, uh, we're just going to get shredded. Were I able to, were I in a more advantageous position, a narrow hallway or something else, I'd have a little better option. But yeah, this is, this is, we're going to die. We're gonna go out. Uh, we're gonna go out exploding things, though, as much as we can. But what I predict is I'll get one more launcher, grenade launcher shot. They'll probably prune both of these off of me in their return fire, um, and I'll probably lose a few other things. And then each time I try to put a new weapons on, they'll they'll get pruned off probably faster than I can even get to fire them. So these are my only two real, real chances. So. That's fine. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, so, come here, you. Fire. I'm just going to put it right in the middle. And we'll see what uh, what we get. Big bad of boom eh, That didn't seem too bad. Please leave the launcher. Please leave the launcher. Leave the launcher. Oh, they left the launcher. Holy crap. Damaged. 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 All right. Did we get one of the angels? I think we got one of the angels, too. Let's see. Tempted to go, like, there to try to cover these guys. I should probably just go right into the Slayer, though. Yeah, let's go right into the Slayer again. If we can just get lucky one or two more rounds. We, we Maybe, maybe. There's probably something going to happen I don't know about, but. Nice. Big guy down. At least one more down. There goes the launcher. It already lasted a shot longer than I expected. Look at these. More soldiers back here. All right. Well, now I have to give it some thought. So, we got Slayers. Heavy Assault Rifles and Gauss Rifles. We got troopers, heavy lasers. I gotta watch my heat. But they keep tagging me with these heavy lasers. The heat transfer will get me. So far, we're fine. I still haven't hit the hauler. <laughs> we still got the angel up. Um. Angel's almost gone. Hacker's almost gone. 
I think I have to grenade launch again and aim here. Hope I can get both of these. If I can get it down to just these guys, we're still in a survivable position. What else did I lose? I lost the heavy missile launcher and... Oh yeah, my matter pod from earlier. Yeah, we're in amazingly good shape. I thought we'd be in a lot worse shape after the first couple of rounds. So, slot something in or just take the shot first? I think I'll... Uh, I, I'm really worried about losing this without getting to shoot again. I think I better take the shot while I've got it. So, let's uh, let's aim right for that. We'll hope we get some good secondary damage there. But I'm my my goal is to kill these two now. Yeah, we got we got the angel gone. Ouch! And there goes the grenade launcher. All right, no big surprise there. So we're facing five of these guys, and we still have the hacker who just refuses to go down. I have no more area of effect weapons. And I have to take time to slot in stuff. We also lost my sensor array. All their all their protection is down. Tempted to hit the freighter just so I can see what's in it. <laughs> I, I, I did not take out a, a yaller previously. He's got a point defense laser. Was he shooting my, my grenades as they went out? I don't think I've seen a point defense. Selects its own targets, attacks them if in range. At no time cost to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, apparently I am in range. Hmm. Let's go with that mag acceleration cannon. Yes, yes, and a hyper scouts rifle. All right, stat-wise, we're still okay. Let's see. Really like to get rid of the hacker first. Good shot. Lost one of our power cores. We're still positive. A lot of incoming fire. Yaller's running for it. How fast are you? He's fast as I am, damn it. Once he gets around the corner, I won't be able to get to him. <laughs> I'll, if he keeps moving, I'll never catch him. Well, that's going to suck. Fight all these guys and not actually get the loot. Okay, weapons are still up. Um... Well. My choices are either try to shift position slightly to like get behind. I don't think from here. I think I might block line of sight from that guy, but I don't think they're getting too many shots on me anyway. Eh, they could be passing through, so yeah. It's just a bad situation. It's going to be a lot of incoming shots if I don't start dropping fools. All right, let's try to drop this guy. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> Incoming! Damn it! This is where it's going to get real painful. Well, not the guy I was aiming at, but sure, I'll take it. Hey, you. Punk. Punk hacker. <laughs> Joining the party. Then there were three. Ah, there go two of my treads. Youch. That means, yeah, we're much more core exposure. We're about to lose the hacking suite again. About to lose the Gauss rifle. Not good. I'm going to run into a matter problem if I don't get this fight done with pretty soon, too. Well, there goes another gun. Uh, let's get the armor on. The armor on. And go with... Uh, uh, I'm worried the flak and the shotguns. Those guys are too far away for those kinds of... But I don't have any other choices. And we're out of power. Then we're two plus the add-on. And the Yaller is out of sight. Yeah, temp's getting a little sizzling. <laughs> Let's take a second to get some core on. Get some treads on. 
let power or let the heat come down a little bit. Which of these is generating all the heat? Probably the acceleration cannon. Yeah, the cannon's doing most of it. Let's switch the cannon out. I am running out of parts. <laughs> Rapidly running out of parts. Uh, flat gun, I guess. I think the range is just not, not to my advantage here. I think I might have to just weather taking some shots while I try to pull back. Ouch. Improved targeting computer, huh? Sure. Put away, um... Hmm. Hardened light. Well, that was kind of rude. Targeting computer in. destroyed my treads you bastard my other treads we're gonna be so stupid slow <laughs> look at that look at that we survived it unfortunately they've carried off all the stuff <laughs> all the uh all the loot has been carried off I have no idea where the yaller went off to. Oh, that was uh, my system corruption. That's some corrupted flat gun misfires to surf destroyed. <laughs> ah, Slayer. I got no good weapons for this kind of fight. Yep, man, there goes another tread. We're going to be... Sitting in place now. Here comes the bad part. Where now stuff's going to keep coming at me and I have no movement ability. And the other oh, the last treads are about to get shot off as well. Next hit will destroy my last tread. I don't have any of that backup uh, motive. Go for the wheel. I guess we're going to have to open fire. This is going to suck. Especially if he just holds position and shoots me from there. We're not getting any hits in. Tiny, tiny damage. <laughs> no, don't fire that way. And the last tread is gone. Yeah, this is how things go, go negative. Just little tiny circumstances like this where I've got this one guy sitting here. I'm now out of propulsion units. Um, I could jettison all my parts and then just start running and try to come back. But I really don't want to. Whoever's going to show up next is the... Ah, now we got a chain gunner. Now more reinforcements. It's always this problem. It's always the, um, the reinforcements if you don't get out of the area. I have no movement option. So while we survive the Yaller attack, we're not going to, we're not going to survive the, uh, the follow-up. Cannot kill this guy. Finally. Way too late. 650 to move a square, huh? That wheel's a long way away. And this puts me out in range of him, and I can't fight a chain gunner at range with flat cannons. I could swap back to the Gauss rifle and a magnetic, but the movement's going to take me forever. He is in line of sight. All right. Guess we're going to swap back until he blows him off me. <laughs> the multiples of them. Blap! There goes the good one. Wow, we got lucky. That's not both, was it? Oh, we did kill both? They took my wheels. You took my wheels! <laughs> you took my wheels no <laughs> move I know it's going to take long do it anyway grab the wheels oh man 
Hey, I, I meant actually to like use the wheels. Insufficient matter. I have no matter. Put the wheels on. Uh, let's see. And wheels. So, we're going to temporarily switch over to uh, wheels. <laughs> Flexi carbon legs, heavy machine guns. Who knows where that, uh... ah, more chain gunners. Let's see. I think he saw me. I'd really rather not get stuck in a, uh, stuck in a room like this. Urge threat. Stop trying to purge threat. See if... Whoa, hey, buddy. Yep, he did. Oh, no. It was somebody else. Can't even kill a hacker. Jeez. Where are you going, buddy? I don't want to fight a shepherd. I really don't want to fight a shepherd. Ah, slicer's on the way. Get me to here. Flail. Hey, flail. Make a hole. Make a hole. Oh, I didn't know that was a shepherd. <laughs> they put a shepherd on top of my stairs. There was not a shepherd here earlier. Oh, man. I just took a face full of uh, whatever he's got. <laughs> God dang it. Um, one, two, three more steps before I can get to the stair. Wow, they put a shepherd after the fact on top of my escape stairs. All right, I'm just going to charge him. Hopefully he doesn't blow all the wheels off. Ah, the guy caught me. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, I got to move that guy? Oh, I thought I could go up the stairs even with him sitting there. Well, that means I'm screwed. All right. Yeah, this is we're dead right here. I thought for sure I'd be able to move on up the stairs even with him on the space. It ain't happening. Yeah, I just keep putting getting pushed back. All right, all our propulsion's gone. Well, uh purge all parts. <laughs> purge all parts. We're flying. Oh, that's right. The carvers are faster than me anyway. Look at this. 170. Floor integrity low. Whoa! And they got grenades. 123. Get in my way, engineer. I'm going for the stairs. Move! <laughs> 83! Shepard! No! 34! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> Full heal, no items. <sighs> there we go. Um, yes, we're alive. We get a full heal. We get all the uh, all the negatives gone. The only downside is I have no gear. Not a single piece of gear, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to grab some new gear. Well, we could get lucky, might not. We'll see. I've um, so when you get into an unwinnable situation, the only thing that matters is your core. If you get into an unwinnable situation like that one, 
purge all you just go to that purge all parts all the stuff you've got equipped explodes off of you you keep the like five items that you have space for normally so i'll have five items whatever five randomly got picked um when we hit the next floor and we'll be at max health no no um corruption and all that but we'll have very limited options but we'll also be very fast that's the advantage to doing it is you drop back to uh, 50 move speed um and you're hard to hit, so you, you can get out of situations like that, and then you just have to recover. So, no, nah, no, nah, run's, run's not quite over. I mean, if I run into any of the flyers, any of those um, those fast guys, it'll be over. I won't be able to deal with them. Um, and I won't be able to, they're faster than me. They're like 37 move speed where I'm 50. So it's all going to come down to whether I face plant into some more of those swarms or not. All right, so we're still fine on power, fine on propulsion. I think it's just uh, it's either double utility or utility weapon. I think I'm going to go double utility. Next round, I think I'll go utility weapon. All right, so what did we keep? We kept the shotgun, the flat gun, the plating. So we have no power. We have no uh, no wheels. What I need to do is I need to find a location or um, the neutral uh, guys that I can shoot that will give me both uh, an engine, some power, and one of the propulsion options. And then I can throw on the plating and put the weapons in and, and so on. And then we'll kind of go from there. But I need to stay at this fast times 250 speed until I find the right circumstances where I can start slotting things on again. I can have up to three and still be at this speed, three mass. So if we check... Um, here so i could have like the shotgun equipped it's mass three so if we throw that on i could be running around with a high power shotgun and i'm still at the fast speed or any other combination but um yeah that's mass five for the armor plating we don't want that yeah we'll just we'll just do the shotgun that way i can just try to blap uh some of the neutrals if uh if, if possible I'd really like to get sensors, but I have to get really lucky to get a sensor so I can see what I'm about to fly into. Prototype flight unit. We could always just switch right over to flight. <laughs> we got no no treads or anything else, so is it time to uh, to reset our 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 movement assumptions? Uh oh. Getting jammed by a marshal. Hey there, Mr. Marshal. I shall move out of your range. All right, Mr. Processor. So, I mean, if I want wheels, we can try to kill the, 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 the processor. He's got wheels. He's got an engine. So that would give me those two very, very early level ones. Um, but we're not too well equipped otherwise. Eh, eh, we're not too bad, actually. I mean, we'd have two weapons. We'd have armor plating. Um, that would give us a starting point. So, maybe. Whoa! Well, let's go take a look at this room. <laughs> hey, room with lots of stuff. Heavy treads! Minus two recoil from each weapon and immunity to knockback. 500 integrity at 240 coverage. Right, we got no choice. I need an engine, though. Ah, another drone bay. I gotta have an engine. Ah, KE penetrators. Ballistic, kinetic destroy. Uh, oh, yeah, heavy treads take two slots. That's part of the uh, the reason why they're so, so big. Um, but that gets us back to our slow speed. So do I really want to do that? We barely got enough energy to move. I really need, uh, I really need an engine. And this increases these uh, improved kin accelerators, increase ballistic gun and chemin minimum damage by a large amount. So, I mean, that's awesome. Ah, eh, let's do it. What the hell? Let's not fly around right now. Let's just get back into thud and blunder mode. Uh, plating. We're still positive on energy. And we don't need either of those. Go ahead and get one of those slotted in. And now we're going negative. Hey there, Ken Accelerator. You are taking up a lot of energy. So turn you off. Can't use you quite yet. As soon as we get an engine, we'll be able to use you. So I switched to energy mode to see what was making all the, or getting rid of all my energy. 
the two numbers here are when you're when you're not moving and when you are moving. So the treads, when I'm using them and moving, actually use up some of the energy. Uh, we'll take a drone bay, and these are all kind of accelerators. So, ECM suite, sure. That also takes power we can't afford right now. That helps cut down on the tracking, so I think that Marshall would have a hard time, harder time uh, getting us jammed. But we'll turn that off for now as well. All right, let's go find a little neutral guy I can blow up so I can get an engine. Where'd they all go? <laughs> God damn it. The exact things I didn't want to find. A Tiamat bomb trap. I don't think I've ever seen a Tiamat bomb trap. Uh, there's likely more than one. I could have just lucked into the position here if I changed my direction. Uh, these guys are going to be able to shoot me from range. I've only got close-up weaponry. The drones aren't going to help much. It's the exact, same, exact thing I didn't need. Eh, at least I got them to come closer. Five of them? Five of them. I want the bomb trap to go off. <laughs> we got multiples. And now we got this guy. What the hell? I'm going to have to instantly go back to uh, purge all parts. Jeez, what's going on? <laughs> really? I am so going to purge all parts. Um, let's see. Problem is, I got to get rid of that before I purge the parts. If he's faster than me. So these guys I can outrun if I purge all parts. This is too many. For, for my lack of gear, way too many. Hey, look at that. Another team at bomb trap. Nuclear cores. I mean, all the stuff I want is now out here. We got auto guns. We got engines. But I can't afford to do it. So let's take another hit. I'm going to pull the heavy treads because I do want to save that. The rest of these, that's almost gone. So I don't really care. Those are almost gone. Yeah, let's just pull the heavy treads. That's my five that I'm allowed to take with me. So purge, purge, get the hell out of here. I need to go to this door. 845, get me around the corner. Get me behind the, uh, the machinery. Now we're praying I don't face plant into more stuff. Either conveyor. Now I have the secondary issue where I have no weapons as well, so I can't just stop and pop one of these guys to get rolling again. I gotta go find a weapon. I don't want to go back towards them. I also need to not run straight down a long corridor, but we're so much faster than them, I think. Eh. All right, north it is. <laughs> Sage is coming up quick behind me. He's gonna corrupt me. How fast are you? Ah, he's damn near the fast, same speed as me. I got no weapons, meaning I can't get away from this guy. Grav mags, melee sweets. That's not going to solve my problem. I do have another door, but who knows where that goes. Let's take it anyway. Signal interpreter would be nice, but we're not going to be able to stop to grab it. Keep going. Oh. All right. <laughs> of course. I'm going to end up in a dead-end room. That's technician, another door, but we're heading to, well, I guess we got a way south we could go. All right, follow the tech. I don't care, tech. Oh, we're heading for the marshal. Please give me other options. Improved heavy armor plating and gauss cannons and reactive plating. Uh, but I don't have all the other stuff. 
need, I've got treads. I throw the treads on. <sighs> Go see what else. Dead end room, this is not good. Not good. I'm gonna get trapped in here. Uh, either have to face the marshal or get plugged in by whatever's chasing me. Um, maybe I should put the drone bay on. Oh, they're great. Already here and already blocking me. I don't think my drones can get past that. I just wanted to activate the drone bay, let the drones out. Oops. They're going to instantly get fragged. Yeah. I'm going to get stuck in here because I, I won't be able to get past these guys, I don't think. Maybe it'll let me fly through them. Um, mass of 10. And I only have 11 matter. I wouldn't even be able to slot it on. We're in that uh, really bad situation now where I don't even have enough matter to put, put items on my, my casing. So we're pretty much screwed at this point. All right, well, we'll try to fly past them. If it doesn't let me, then we're just going to die in this little hole here. An ignominious end. Collision. Yes. Collision. Keep colliding. Get me over here. We're going to get shot by the marshal. And marshal's going to put paid to me real quick. 71. 721, huh? Oh, <laughs> we're so dead. All right, time to die. No way to get out of this. Unless there was a stair immediately next to me, that'd be the only chance. <laughs> I've got how many carvers? Four carvers, a marshal, a slayer, a sage, two, a soldier, a veteran. What's the veteran got? Field laser and plasma rifles. Eh. Yeah, no, no fancy movement's going to save me this then. 603 and dropping quickly. A lance. I got knocked off to the side there. 460. I keep going for the door, even though it's not going to help me. 408. Yeah, generally when I'm getting killed, I mean, occasionally I get penned in by the big guys, but the vast majority of the time so far, it's been constant problems with these swarmers. Just constant problems with these guys. I mean, look at this. 15. 15! <laughs> it's just, it's impossible. Absolutely impossible to get away from them. So if they ever get, to, if they ever show up when you're in a vulnerable state, you're just done. 220. Get out of my way. I'm running away till I'm dead. 189. Shoot trap. Ooh, shoot trap. Shoot trap. Yes, I want to go in the shoot. Shoot trap me. Yes. Ah, we avoided it. <laughs> no. Back in the shoot. Yes. <laughs> I have escaped. Oh. Uh, whoa. Where the hell am I? What the hell's that stuff? No part? What do you mean no parts to label? There's parts out here. Where the hell am I? We're at rank 8 crap? Enhanced quantum rifles? I went in a shoot trap on level 5 and all of a sudden I got this crazy stuff? <laughs> what the hell is this thingy? Light unit propulsion times 3. List no mass. No mass. All right, let's let's go stand on it. Core integrity low. Yeah, I know that. Slot that bad boy in. How fast are we? We're forty. We're actually faster now than without the core thingy. Okay. Uh, definitely no treads. Uh, those aren't gonna help me. Oh wait, wait, wait. I have corruption. That will. Uh, that's gonna take power. I don't have enough power for this thing. Or not. Oh, energy minus one. Eh, we can barely do it. Sure. Sure. Do it. <laughs> 0 
I have no idea where I'm at. Broken impulse thruster array. Broken brutal leg. This must be like a, um, what do they call those? I forget what they refer to as the, the wild robots. C40. Oh, that's where we're at. That's right. We got dumped down the, uh, the trash chute. Hey there, Crusher. Well, hi there. I think that was just system corruption. Now we're up to 10. We just added five. And the stuff that was nearby... Oh, was it the item I stepped on? Alright. So, stuff's gone. <laughs> I think they're teasing me with this high-level stuff. Um, we're plenty fast to avoid the crushers, or we should be. Although a single hit from them is probably going to kill me. I think this is going to be a dead end. Well, it can't all be junk because we got the thruster array already. In oh, that's right. I'm out of matter. We got that one thing installed. And that's the only thing I'm going to get installed unless we find uh, find some matter. Let's see. Hey, bad guys. Come chase me this way. Need to get past you. Don't shift diagonal down, please. Whoa. Whoa. That was close. Oh, I think, I think up is a dead end. I think up is a dead end. Oh, boy. I'm going to go back. I need you to not be in the middle of the room there, Crushers. Go down this way. This is going to be close. Broken particle reactor. Keep going. Keep going. Stairs. <laughs> Again, no parts to label. What do you mean no parts to label? There's parts on the screen. Uh, yeah, we don't want this corrupted crap, though. Um, Just get me out of here. Uh, where are we now? Back to a normal level. All right, so we escaped the uh, the trash area. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I know. How am I going to get matter? I got zero matter. I... Oh, you got to be kidding me. You going to let me go up a floor? I'll take it. Nope. We went sideways. Damn it. Into the caves. Well, that's not what I wanted. That is very much not what I wanted. Crap. Crappity crap crap. Uh, yeah, that's not good. All right. We went laterally into the caves. That's bad. I'm <laughs> already getting shot by soldiers. And here comes the virus. I can't believe I went like two steps and now I'm already going to get out maneuvered by a virus that goes faster than me. Ah, uh, I thought we had it. I thought we were going to stay alive. We had opportunity. Yep, here it comes. Nothing I can do about it. Get walls between me and it is pretty much the only choice to minimize the number of shots. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> soldier. That's my only route. Soldier, fighter, and soldier. I've either got to go past them or I've got to go back into the virus. And we're coming up against the edge of the wall here. 120, huh? I don't know if I'm going to survive trying to get past those guys. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna go. Tr I'm gonna try to go through. I'd rather die to those guys than to die to that stupid carver or the, the virus. One o two. They're blocking the way. Went through. Eighty four. I gotta get line of sight cleared. Come on, game. Don't put me in a dead end. It put me in a dead end! <laughs> cul de sac. Stop cul de sac me. Oh, 
Slow it down to 84. And another bad guy makes it 65. Well, hey there, buddy. I want you to be my friend. Got the corruption down to five at least. Light, deuterium, decommissioned or turned off currently. Hmm. Sure. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting. I have no matter. I can't pick anything up. I can't slot anything in. I guess we'll grab it for now. I don't want to break the... I don't know exactly the status of these guys. It's a Samaritan derelict. I don't know if I bump into him to try to break him, if it's going to all of a sudden turn everybody against me or what. And we don't have any... I don't think I can do any damage while in flight unit. I think we'll just keep moving. Oh, there's some matter. Please, please. Oh, no, don't pick them up. These are mine. One. <laughs> Here I get all excited. The matter fuse minus one. <laughs> Back to zero. Oh, oh, man. You're messing with me, Cogmind. You're messing. Oh, God. Come on. At least they didn't spot me. Please tell me I don't have to go through those guys. You're going to force me right back up into them. There's nowhere else to go. This whole section. I'd have to go back to here and then try to go south. Otherwise, they're going to put me right in the, right the middle of those guys. Scrap. What's in the scrap? Treads, component analysis, ECM suites. 23 matter. Ooh, we could get one, maybe two things installed. Hmm. Definitely not treads. We're going to stick with flight for the moment. Not worried about that. That would help slightly. I think what I'll do is I'll get the engine in. It gets me down to 13. Now we got a little bit of power gen. Um, sure. ECM suite. That will help. E matter. Please don't don't block me and force me into those guys. Force me back this direction. I am running out of options here. <laughs> so, unless I go back to where those I was encountering all of those dudes, possibly I can go up north. Whoops. Go here. Little bits of matter. Forty seven. Nothing I've got currently is going to need that. Hopefully, we don't fuse it all away. And this also dead ends. It ends. Uh oh. A scary orange door. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to leave you alone. And it goes nowhere else. So now we're roadblocked again. 
So once again, it's either face the flyers, which I won't survive. Got one tiny possibility here. Otherwise, I gotta go back past those guys we, we ran away from earlier. Alright. Uh take me to here. Whoops. Stay away from them. Up to 209. Another dead end. Another dead end. Erg. <laughs> I just know the stairs are going to be on the other side of these guys. Uh, no option but to come back up this way. Check this. I think gets me back to near where I started, doesn't it? All right, um, that was still a better choice than all those flyers. Almost back to full matter. Just need a couple little things and we could be back in business. Number one being, God damn it. <laughs> Face planted right into it. A log, a virus, a soldier, and the sentinel. Is he sitting on top of the stairs? He is not. I have to go, so that's a dead end. I have to go out that way, which I think is also going to dead end. I'm not going to make it. We'll be dead before... You know, if I back to here and then north... I think that's my only option. I think if I try to cross this way, I'll get hit too many times. Well, that thing's going to kill me anyway. Oh, I lost my 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 unit. Um, I beat my movement. So all we got is an ECM suite, and we're burning power. So we got to turn that off. Mm -mm. We're down to the uh, down to the wire now. Twenty two core, and we're going right into another guy. Ah, uh, we're finally dead. <laughs> it was so close. I thought I'd get away. There we go. We has died. Just browsing achievement, huh? <laughs> All right. Evolutions 5. Region visited 10. Robots destroyed 130. <laughs> I blew up a lot of crap. Alien tech used none. Yeah, it was a fun run. We had a good time. A lot of interesting fights there. We survived a full-on Yaller uh, ambush slash convoy. Didn't get any reward out of it and then had to flee the scene from the reinforcements. But um, yeah, it was a good run. Good demonstration of the game as well for folks that may not have seen it yet. So uh, that is that is Cogmind. So we only made it, what, halfway? Halfway to the top. We got to five, I think. Um, but we, get, we ran into a couple of unfortunate circumstances there that could have been handled differently. But uh, it can go downhill pretty quick. The weirdest situations can strip all your all your gear off you or strip the important stuff you need. But I swear, it's always them swarmers. It's always them flyers. 90% of the time so far is what it feels like. That's what's causing me problems. So I guess more um, more thinking and practicing and figuring out loadouts to try to prevent those things. Or being, I, I really need to be more willing to point blank blow myself up to get rid of those when they get on top of me. That's really the best way to do that, it seems like. But we didn't have too many opportunities this time. All right, I am going to, uh, well, we'll hit space bar. There's no exit loading screen to jump out to. <laughs> so back at the bottom, brand new run. But uh, that's going to be it for this evening. We're uh, about 15 minutes away from the four hours I was planning to put in. So we're not going to start a new one. All right, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for, uh, for hanging out, watching some uh, Cogmind with me on, uh, you know, on the YouTube side. I will uh, be back tomorrow with some more streaming, probably over on my Twitch channel tomorrow. Uh, i got to figure out just how I'm going to balance the Twitch streaming and YouTube stuff and what I want to do where and preferences and so on. So we'll see what we can do. But have a great evening, everybody. Thanks for supporting the channel. Support your small content creators. Go do it. It's important, very beneficial, and uh, helps a lot.
Stay safe out there.